Now, we proudly present Berwick Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Brought to you by Overhead Door of Berwick, Berwick Notary, State Farm Insurance, Sean Black and Lori Powell, First Keystone Community Bank, The Willows Golf Course, Journey Bank, Flick Brothers Electric in Bloomsburg, Blaze Alexander Family Buick GMC of Bloomsburg, Berwick Dental Arts, WNL Subaru, Nissan and Mazda, Reds Roofing, Preferred Portables, Nespoli Jewelers, Neighborhood Fence, Ken Pollock Ford, Mayo Funeral Home, ND Accounting and Consulting, and Mason's Monogram Service. Now, Here's Jim Doyle and Andy Ulicki. Good evening, everyone. Tonight from Crispin Field in Berlin, it's the Bulldogs against the Tigers of Tonkanny. I am Jim Doyle. I'm joined by Andy Lickney. The producer of this broadcast is Ashlyn Walshaw. Very special night at Crespin Field here this evening. It is the regular season finale, and it is senior night. Only seven Bulldogs being introduced out on the field. That's the number of seniors on this squad. They are Billy Hanson, Julian Howie. Braden Schaefer, Jamison Patton, Rocco Romeo, Gavin Jones, and Chase Shuckers being introduced to the crowd here at Crespin Field. Band members and cheerleaders that are seniors going to be introduced later. The Bulldogs and Tunkenny both know they're going to be in the playoffs next week. It's just a matter of where. And it might be a situation where neither one can really improve their seating regardless of what happens tonight. In all probability, Berwick, as the number seven seed coming into this game, will be in Lake Ariel next Friday to take on a very good team from Western Wayne. A team that's been the number one seed for most of the season, but lost a game to Mid-Valley and dropped down to number two. There is an outside chance that the Bulldogs, with a win tonight and a loss by Carbondale, would move Berwick up to number six. It's all too complicated for us to give you any definitive word on what would happen. But both Tunkanic and Berwick will be in those playoffs. Tunkanic almost certainly as the number eight seed with nowhere to go, will be at Scranton Prep when those playoffs begin. But first things first, and it's the regular season finale here at Crispin Field for the Bulldogs, for the Tigers, and the last home appearance ever for the seven Berwick seniors that I just mentioned. Andy Lichty with us for the Bulldogs football tonight. Andy, I don't know who started the tradition of senior night, but it's all over the country now. And I think it's a, it's a really a great thing because regardless of how the season has gone, and obviously Berwick would like to be coming in here with a better record than three and six, but regardless, when you put all the time and effort that it takes to be on a football team, and it's your last chance to put on a uniform at your home field. It's significant. It, it is. It really is. Uh, players feel it deeply. And I noticed uh, C.J. Curry had the entire team out, spread out, tunnel fashion, to be able to watch his senior guys walk with their parents through. And not just for the players, Jim. They just introduced the cheerleaders, the seniors with their parents. The band has a massive group ready to come on out. And I believe even the Coral Ears are going to have their... Uh, their parents, you know, march them through. So all the seniors in every phase is that, uh, you know, handle football games and you know, get to kind of say goodbye for their last time on this football field. A Berwick six losses. Maybe last week's was the most disappointing because they went into that game at Seals Grove with two straight wins. They were coming off arguably their best performance of the season at Williamsport. They really thought they had something going and it just didn't come together. But there's still a chance to get a win tonight, get in the playoffs, and who knows once you get there. Yeah, once you get there, you got to play it through. I think they ran into a buzzsaw too, Jim. I think Seals Grove came off some disappointing performances and all of a sudden they looked and said, hey, we need to turn this around. They had too much talent to not be able to turn it around, and boy, they, they put together a great football game against Berwick. You know, and then a lot of flags kind of changed the complexion of the game. A lot of different factors factor into it, but Berwick certainly would like to turn it around and finish strong tonight. Berwick's defense has been terrific. Last three games, their opponents just 107 total rushing yards on 83 carries. Offensively, 
they really need to at least have the threat of a pass. They've gone through two games now without a pass completion. And there's a real irony there since their head coach, C.J. Curry, was an excellent quarterback in Berwick. And their quarterback coach, Dave Robbins, was a terrific all-state type of quarterback. It just hasn't come together. We're probably going to see some of Ashton Smith, who started the season at quarterback, back at that spot it's not an indictment of billy hansen who changed at week four to the quarterback spot it's just that two things billy has no experience as a quarterback and he's their best wide receiver right right you know and, and berwick's been feeling their way through the season week by week chip they thought they had the quarterbacks coming out of camp and you know it just didn't go there were too many interceptions they weren't making completions where they needed it and they decided Billy Hansen gives us a different game plan with a running quarterback. And boy, that showed itself in the one week. And then other teams adjust, and then all of a sudden you go, hey, let's see what Ty Wilkerson can do. And with his development over the course of the season, you have to use that weapon. And now it's like, well, what are you getting out of Billy Hansen if you're not going to run him? He's the best receiver, great speed. Now you give it a different look. You change it around. You uh, kind of limit the playbook a little bit when you go with uh, Ashton Smith you give him easy first reads get the ball there if it's not there tuck it and run you know see what happens you mentioned Ty Wilkerson and we'll have to get our crack research department on this but has anyone ever gone through the first four games of a season with 15 yards rushing and end of the season with well over a thousand yards rushing I'd say no <laughs> <laughs> I'd say no, but boy, you know, there was a certain time where just something clicked in his head. He uh, was always an interesting football player. You thought of him as speed and finesse, and then all of a sudden a toughness came out. Up in Wyoming area, I think it happened, where he's running, and I think he got mad. He didn't like the way things were going, people grabbing at him. He said, I'm going to sit and plow these people over. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I can make it. And when you added that power game to his speed game, and then as the season developed after that, you're starting to see a different type of uh, vision, a different type of uh, balance. The uh, I can go from a stop in the middle of a hole and then accelerate and make it happen. He's become, in my mind, one of the best players in the state. And in by later with the keys to tonight's game. When we return, we'll hear from Pat Keating, the head coach of the Tigers of Tonkanic. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. Fall into savings at Ken Pollock Ford and take advantage of up to $10,000 off select F-150s in stock and up to $1,000 of trade assistance on our Bronco family lineup. With rates falling as low as 1.9% on select models, there's a vehicle for everyone's budget. Ken Pollock Ford is proud to have experts on hand with over 200 years of sales and service experience combined. Service pickup and drop-off, loaner cars, mobile service, we do it all. Only at Ken Pollock Ford, Route 11 Berwick, or online at KenPollockFord.com. When you're shopping for insurance, you might say, What? Huh? I'm so over this. But what you really need to say is something that could actually help. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you get a local State Farm agent, they can help make it easy and help you choose the coverage you need. Plus, they're available online, over the phone, or even in person. I'm so into this. Visit your Bloomsburg State Farm agent, Sean Black, at insurebloomsburg.com. Planning your next big event? Weddings, concerts, church festivals, even construction sites. Preferred Portables has you covered. Preferred Portables offers a luxury restroom trailer that even has hot water. No power? No problem. They can provide a generator to keep the lights on. They even provide sanitary service to campgrounds, parks, parties, and have 24-hour emergency service. Contact Preferred Portables to learn about event and contractor pricing. Check out their website, preferredportables.com. We're number one when you have to go number two. Mason's Monogramming has the largest selection of Bulldog items in Berwick. Family owned with more than 35 years experience. And new Bulldog wear for every age, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, polos, hats, and more. They even make online fundraising easy for you. Stop in today to discuss your next fundraising opportunity. You can also shop at masonsmonogramming.com for their new inventory and select in-person pickup or shipping right to you. Follow their Instagram at Mason's Monogramming for their latest new items. Mason's Monogram Service in Berwick. Let them personalize for you. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. Thank you. 
The 2024 high school football regular season, which kicked off in late August, finishes up here this weekend. At Crispin Field, it's the Bulldogs against the Tigers of Tonkanic on senior night. Well, tonight a special raffle is being held here at Crispin Field for artwork that depicts legendary coach George Curry. The artwork by Topps card artist Vincent C. Wood. Tickets are being sold now and throughout the first half of tonight's game at Papa Lou's Place on Vine Street, where you can listen to Andy and I call all the action live on Pop Radio. And chances are also available through quarter number two here at the stadium, where the artwork is on display in front of the home bleachers near midfield. A list of five lucky winners will be announced at halftime with 100% of the proceeds benefiting the Bulldog football team. Well, Pat Keating is in his second season trying to build a football program at Tunkhannock, which has not experienced a winning season since 1998. Keating explains the process. Um, well, number one, I think, you know, um, having structure and accountability throughout the program, um, you know, and, you know, if things started this year, um, instituting things in the off season. Uh, you know, things, things that weren't in place in the past, um, you know, which started, you know, with, with strength training, um, you know, off-season drills and things of that nature. Um, you know, one of the things that, that um, you know, is moving in the right direction from, you know, uh, wh where the program was, you know, two years ago to where it is now, uh, participation numbers are up, um, you know, and hopefully that keeps moving in the right direction. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've, we've been able to establish, you know, the ability to, uh, play a full JV schedule this year, uh, you know, which, which is huge for us. Uh, we were not able to do that last year in year one. So, uh, a, a lot of things like that, you know, uh, you know, have to be established first. Um, you know, and, and, you know, this will be a multi-year process, uh, you know, before, you know, the, the wins, you know, the, the steady wins start to come along. How about bright spots for this season? Who's played well for you? Um, you know, obviously a kid like Andrew Lipinski um, has been a bright spot. Um, he's, you know, one of the new kids uh, that, you know, that came out. He wasn't on the team last year. Um, you know, he, he decided to come out this year, um, first year playing football. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a very good athlete. Um, you know, he's got size. He's got speed. He's got athleticism. Um, but you know, he's, he's, he's learning the game right now. And, uh, um, you know, he's, he, he's trying to absorb as much as he can right now. Uh, so, you know, really excited to see like where he goes with, with a full off season ahead of him, uh, you know, moving into the following year because, uh, you know, he's still got another year of eligibility. Um, you know, I think we took great strides up front this year. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I think that last year, um, we have a lot of work to do up front in, the, in, in a lot of areas. Um, we've become more consistent, um, you know, understanding our blocking schemes and doing, uh, doing different things up front. So that, that's something that's definitely helped. Um, you know, but, but right now, like, we have, we have a lot of youth and inexperience on our team. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of underclassmen that are playing. Um, and even kids that are juniors and seniors, um, there's a lot of kids that are playing their first year of football. Um, so, um, you know, there's, there's obviously some, some struggles here and there. Uh, but, um, you know, it's, there's a lot to build on as well. To be in this game against Berwick, obviously you have to do something to, uh, at least slow down or contain, uh, Ty Wilkerson who's on a real tear for the, for the Bulldogs. How do you do that? Um, you have to be fundamentally sound, um, and, and you have to have guys that are willing to go get to the football, um, you know, and uh, and follow their keys. Uh, you know, they're, they're doing a nice job right now. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, they, they found their identity of who they are, um, you know, and, uh, you know, it's typical Berwick kids. You know, they're, they're physical. Uh, they're fundamentally sound. Um, I think they do a nice job up front right now. Um, and, you know, and credit, credit to, uh, you know, uh, CJ in his first year as a coach, um, you know, they've, they're, they're getting better as the year goes on, you know, and that's, you know, that's something that, you know, you always want to see in, in, in any coach in any program. And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you, you see a lot of bright spots down there. So they're doing a really nice job. 
That's Pat Keating, now in his second season as head coach of the Tigers of Tonkanic. He's a 1996 grad of Wyoming Valley West and of Kutztown University. His team might be intimidated by Crispin Field, but he isn't. He spent 10 seasons at Wyoming Valley West as their head coach, and he was 7-3 and three in those seasons against Berwick. He has a Berwick connection. In 2008, he was at Wyoming Valley West as an assistant, an assistant under Berwick's legendary head coach, George Curry. His Tigers come in 3-6. and six. The Bulldogs come in 3-6. and six. The regular season finale for both teams who are headed to the postseason playoffs next week. Berwick against Tun Kenick. We'll take a look at the starting lineups when we return. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is proud to be keeping generations of beautiful smiles across Bulldog Nation. Dr. Susan Ermish, Dr. Nathaniel Fluke, and their staff practice general and restorative dentistry, and they're open Monday through Friday. Whether you need a simple cleaning or a complicated procedure, Berwick Dental Arts will see that you have the best smile so you can be your best. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is a proud supporter of Berwick Bulldogs football. Visit their website at berwickdentalarts.com. This is Mike from M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. Is this the first time you've shopped with us? Let me explain why you should shop at a Carpet One store. We have over 1,300 store buying power. Carpet One stores sell more floor covering than the two big box stores do combined. That means not only do you get the best price, but you get to work with flooring professionals throughout the entire process from estimates to installation. No one will give you more for your flooring dollar than M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. Free checking for you and your business. No strings attached. Sounds perfect, right? First Keystone Community Bank offers free personal and business checking options with free Visa debit card, no monthly fees, no minimum balance, and no monthly qualifying requirements. Checking with no gimmicks, just what you need. They'll be celebrating 160 years of serving their communities with 19 full-service locations and convenient digital banking tools 24-7. First Keystone Community Bank, local banking for the community we all call home. Online at fkc.bank. Equal opportunity lender member FDIC. The Mayo Funeral Homes, located at 110 Chestnut Street in Berwick and 77 Main Street in Shikshini, are proud sponsors of Berwick Bulldog Football. The Mayo Funeral Homes, serving all faves, makes it easier for those you love with prearranged funeral counseling, insurance, and pre-finance funerals. Mayo Funeral Homes also offers expert guidance in both traditional and cremation services. Mayo Funeral Homes, perfection in every detail. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Chilly night here at Crispin Field, but not too bad considering the late October date as Berwick renews a series with Ton Canick. Teams have not played since uh, 20 and 21. Ton Canick beat Berwick the very first time these teams met. That was in a ice bowl, they call it, the district playoffs. And the Bulldogs have won every meeting since. They are 24-1 and against the Tigers of Tonkanic. That last meeting, though, in 2021, very competitive. Berwick won that one, 21-16. Here's the starting lineup offensively for Tonkanic. At the tight end, number 13, Caden Simmers. He's 5'11", 190, a junior. Ian Burke starts a left tackle for the Tigers. Number 67, he is 6'3", 255, a junior. Jaden Thomas starts at left guard. He wears number 57. Jaden is 5'10", 200 pounds, a junior. Another junior is the starting center. He wears number 64. He is Aiden Anderson, 5'11", 220 pounds. James Thomas is the right guard, number 53. 6'1", 285, a senior. The right tackle is number 58, Brock McLean, 6'2", 230, a senior. The leading receiver on this team, and you heard Pat Keating talk about him. Number 14, Andrew Lipitsky, 6'3", 165, a junior. As the Bulldogs just now make their way on this, the near side of the field. Berwick in the blue jerseys, blue pants, white helmets, white numerals, and trim. Lipinski, 19 receptions on the season for 352 yards and two touchdowns. We expect to see him taking snaps in the Wildcat tonight as well. He has 40 carries on the season, averaging over four yards a carry. The quarterback will be number seven, Zach Latwinski. He is a six-foot, 165-pound sophomore. 
completing 42% of his passes, 41 for 97, and even 500 yards, two touchdowns, and six interceptions. The Tigers have two running backs with decent numbers. One is a senior, Carver Lewis, six foot, 200 pounder, 319 yards rushing and five touchdowns. The other is a ninth grader, Lucas Siprich. He wears number nine, he's 5'11", 175, a freshman, as the Tigers of Tom Canick just now making their way on the far side of the field, wearing white jerseys, black helmets, black pants, orange numerals, and black trim. Jaden Ransom is another wide receiver for them. He's six foot, 195, a senior, eight catches for 70 yards. Those are their starters offensively, 111 yards rushing a game, just 64 yards passing. And in six of their losses, they've averaged only 127 yards in total offense. So they'll need to get something going against a strong Bulldog defense to be in this game tonight. For Berwick offensively, the tight end is a ninth grader and a captain. Gabe Decker, number nine, 6'3", 180 pounds, seven catches for 75 yards. J.J. Leonard is the starting left tackler's number 56, six foot, 255, a junior. Draven Geiger expected to be the starting left. He wears number 70, 5'11", 275, a junior. Gavin Jones is the starting center for the Dogs. He wears number 51. He's 5'8", 215, a senior. Matt Gordner starts at right guard. He wears number 62, 6 foot, 280, a junior. And the right tackle, number 64, Chase Shuckers. 6'2", 265 pounds, one of seven Bulldog seniors in their final home appearance of their careers tonight. At the quarterback, we expect to see Ashton Smith doing the starting. He's a junior, 5'11", 205 pounds, completing 34% of his passes for 254 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions. Now, Billy Hansen shifted from wide receiver to quarterback in week four, and it's just not happening. The Bulldogs haven't completed a pass in the last two games, plus... Billy Hansen is their best wide receiver, so we expect to see Ashton Smith throwing perhaps to Billy Hansen and others tonight. Uh, Chalo Escobar, number eight, has four catches for 41 yards for the Bulldogs. And Julian Howie, number seven, is a 6'2", 185-pound senior with seven catches for 123 yards and a touchdown. Billy Hansen wears zero. He is 6'1", 175, a senior. The marquee player in this offense, obviously, Ty Wilkerson, the 6'2", 190-pound junior, now with 1,081 yards rushing and 12 touchdowns. We gave you those numbers before. 15 yards rushing through the first four games of the season. He's averaging 11.1 yards a carry. Number two, Gavin Galusha is a sophomore, 5'10", 5 yards a carry. And when they use the fullback, it'll be number 98, George, 6'1", 220, a sophomore. Those are the starters offensively for the Bulldogs. Back with the kickoff, you're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. At Journey Bank, we believe your checking account should do more for you. That's why we offer Bazing Checking. With Bazing Checking, enjoy cell phone protection, roadside assistance, and savings both in-store and online at over 300,000 local and national retailers. Bazing Checking not only helps me save money with deals and discounts, it also protects my cell phone and provides peace of mind when I'm on the road. Bazing Checking. It's banking that looks out for you. Switch to Bazing Checking at Journey Bank today. Visit journeybank.com or stop by any of our 20 community office locations. Journey Bank. Let's get you there. It won't be long before tax time rolls around, so remember to visit Michael Daddio CPA at ND Accounting and Consulting for your income tax needs. ND Accounting and Consulting handles both business and individual taxes, as well as offering a variety of accounting services, including payroll, auditing, and bookkeeping. For tax and accounting services, look for Michael Daddio CPA at ND Accounting and Consulting with two locations, 214 Pine Street in Berwick and 5929 Main Road in Sweet Valley. Are you in the market for a new set of wheels? Once you find it, whether it's a functional grocery getter or a midlife crisis hot rod, the tag and title experts at Berwick Notary in Berwick are open six days a week, so you can be rest assured you'll be on the road and illegal in no time. Berwick Notary can transfer a title, register an ATV, or any kind of vehicle. And they're the only notary in Columbia County that registers boats. Berwick Notary's been serving the Bulldog community for over 40 years, and they proudly support the Berwick Bulldogs. Check out their Facebook page and go dogs! 
Family tradition is the foundation of Nespoli Jewelers, a family tradition started by Joseph Nespoli and continued by his grandson, Jonathan. For three generations, Nespoli Jewelers have prided themselves on mixing fine with fashion. Jonathan can customize your engagement ring and wedding bands, design a unique piece of jewelry inspired by you, or simply help you find an affordable gift. Service, quality, creativity. Nespoli Jewelers, yesterday's principles, today's creations. East Front Street in Berwick and online at NespoliJewelers.com. It's Roofing, the roofing ninjas of Berwick. The roofing experts for all of our listening area. With over 30 years experience and great rates, why go anywhere else when Red's Roofing will get the job done right for your roofing, decks, and siding. Specializing in metal roofs, rubber roofs, and shingles. Most of the work is done in one day. Red's Roofing, the roofing ninjas. Now located in Dushore and also serving Bradford and Sullivan counties with owner Harry Titus, a supporter of the Berwick football team and St. Jude Children's Hospital. Call 570-752-4351. W234BH West Hazelton at 94.7. WBWX W242CY Berwick at 96.3. W282CO Bloomsburg at 104.3. And W288CF Danville at 105.5. Your home for Berwick Bulldogs football is Pop Radio. Seven Mountains Media Station. Bloomsburg. Couple minutes before the kick. Off to start this one, the regular season finale, the Bulldogs against the Tigers of Tonkana. Keys to tonight's game, Andy Ligney. Now, before we get to those keys, Jim, a wonderful thank you to the Modern Airs. They were up here in the press box with us. They joined the band for the alma mater and then sang the uh, national anthem a cappella. And boy, it's like being surrounded by angels to hear those voices and the harmonies. And what a wonderful group it happens to be. What an addition to the whole Berwick family. Let's look at the keys. I think Berwick's defense has to stop a rather diversified offensive attack. Uh, the running backs on this team are solid. Carver Lewis, Lucas Siprach, uh, they balance the ball carrying. They have a similar type of numbers. And they're going to do it from a lot of different looks, a lot of different formations, a lot of shifting, a lot of motions. So it's a little bit of a tricky look for the beef Berwick defense. They have to be anticipating what's going to happen and from what look, but keep their eye on those runners. Also running the ball, a great wildcat runner in Andrew Lipinski. He has five touchdowns, and he's quite a threat when you see him lining up in the backfield. Now, they're a solid pass team. <coughs> Jack, Zach Lat Latwinski, uh, his most dangerous receiver. We mentioned that wildcat quarterback in Andrew Lipinski. 19 catches on the season, 352 yards, and two touchdowns. So a nice diversified attack. Berwick's D has looked very strong, getting better and better each week. Uh, you highlighted their last three games at rushing, Jim. 83 rushes, giving up only 107 yards. That's 1.2 yards a carry. That's 35.6 yards a game. Those are amazing numbers. So the Berwick D has been looking good. Berwick offense, we're going to see a little different game plan, a little different look this week. We anticipate seeing uh, Ashton Smith at quarterback to give Billy Hansen a wide receiver role. Of course, they'll be featuring Ty Wilkerson, and I think the Tunkanic D is going to have its hands full and trying to stop a different look out of Berwick. Bulldogs will kick it off. Caleb Yost will do the kicking, a five-yard penalty against Berwick the first time they try this. And the kick will go to Lipinski at the 15-yard line. Andrew Lipinski to the far side, to the 20, the 25, the 30, 35. A good return uh, out near the 38-yard line. Andy, you talk to the officials and tell the truth. Did you tell them to call a penalty because you need more time for your pre-game keys to the game? They are my buddies, Jim. They take care of me. We went over their pronunciations. I told uh, the linesman Boyle we'll get his name right and not let Gary say it as voice as has happened in the past. So, yeah, they slowed things down just that little bit for me. First and ten. Well, Tunkanic, they have it at their 37-yard line. The Tigers move from our right to our left. They have three receivers to the left. And the quarterback takes the snap and stumbles a bit but still gets it over the 40 to the 41-yard line. This Berwick defense that has been terrific against the run lines up with Gabe Decker, J.J. Leonard, Chase Shuckers, and Skylar Neville, the front four. The linebacker, Shiloh Escobar, Rocco Romeo, and Everett Snyder. The corners, Caleb May and Brayden Schaefer. Ty Wilkerson and Alex Estrella are 
the safeties. Quarterback taking that first snap was the Wildcat quarterback, Andrew Lipinski, Jim. He's got it again. This time, Berwick's all over Chase Shuckers. Breaks him down for a loss of the flag. Got to bring up third down. Yep, set up a passing situation. So they'll drop him for two. The first play didn't get off real well. It almost looked like a broken play, even though he was the Wildcat. Snap came in late. This one, while things were timed well, well, Chase Shuckers took care of that and dropped him for a three-yard loss. Third down and nine. Zach Ledwinski is a sophomore. He takes most of the snaps for this team. And on third nine, he'll take this one. Lipinski is now at a wide receiver position to the left. Braden Schaefer has that assignment. Here's the third and nine. Berwick coming on a blitz. And Lodwinski sees some running room, and he slides down, but he slides well short of the first down yardage. Yeah, I think he saw there was no way he was going to get the chains. He was going to be five yards short of it, and two linebackers coming in to nail him. So rather than take the shot and risk a fumble, he'll set up the fourth down punting situation. So it is fourth and four for Tunkanic at their 43-yard line. Julian Howie back in single safety for the Bulldogs. I always feel he's a little too deep. Siprich with the punt. Very, very high. Hits at the 30. Takes a Berwick bounce. It'll be down by a Tunkanic player there at the 35. So the Bulldogs will get their first shot at the football. They'll be going against a Tunkanic defense that lines up with Carver Lewis and Josiah Parr at the ends. Brock McClain and Ian Burke at the tackles. Caden Simmers, Jaden Thomas, Ethan Dominic, and Andrew Lipinski, the linebackers. The corners, Jaden Ransom and Randall Paxton. Daniel Browning is the safety. Earl Cuddles with C.J. Curry at the sidelines. They'll come out from the numbers right to the football for the first snap. And it is Ashton Smith at the quarterback controls. The junior who started the season at quarterback, in fact, threw a touchdown pass of Berwick's first possession of this season to Billy Hansen, who is wide to the right. First down play. Gordner comes in motion to lead the blocking. And there's Ty Wilkerson getting outside right down the sideline. 40 and forced out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Berwick that time went with Matt Gordner, a big guy, 280 pounds, in motion to lead the blocking for Ty Wilkerson and a big gain on first down. Yeah, they went with that look a couple uh, games ago, Jim, and then pretty much handed after the first series. The timing just wasn't looking right. Came back to it here, opened up the C-gap on the right side. Nice deliberate running by Ty Wilkerson. 32 yards on the carry. Now Gordner again winds up as a wing to the right side. Goes in motion to the left. Smith gives it to Wilkerson, tries the left side, gain tackled after a short gain, if anything. Yeah, a yard or two in there. Trying to get the kick out block and the C gap open, but it was going to be filled. Ty Wilkerson, to his uh, benefit, I suppose you'd say, has turned more into a north south runner. Often people with the great speed he possesses like to immediately head to the sidelines. Instead of doing that, he saw they were going to angle him down. He tried to go north-south for as much as he could get. Second down and nine. Some confusion on Berwick's part. Lincinski started out, then goes back in there. And the direct snap out of the Wildcat goes to Wilkerson. And he's brought down after a short gain to the 29 yard Hard by. It'll be a third down situation, the first of the night for the Bulldogs. Harvard Lewis coming in from a linebacker spot to keep him to short yardage. You are right, it's going to be third and about six, maybe seven. Would be a passing down, but if you're thinking of two runs because of the down and distance and the field position, wouldn't surprise me to see them hand it off. Gordner now back at his normal right guard position. Wilkerson out of the Wildcat, takes the snap, tries the right side, looks for some running room. It's defended well by the Tigers. He'll be short of the first down yard. It should be fourth down, maybe four. Andrew Lipinski coming in and making the tackle after about the three-yard gain. Berwick will line up for a play from scrimmage because the ball is on the 27-yard line. It's on the right hash, wide side of the field to the left. Will they go that way with Ty Wilkerson and let him kind of choose his hole? Aiden George is in there as a blocking back. 
two blocking backs ahead of Wilkerson. Fourth and four. He fakes handoff. He gets off the left side. Beautiful play. And pulls it out and heads to the left side. There's no one there, no one at all to stop him. A person with lesser speed could have run that in for the touchdown, but he has speed in excess. And but makes did they it call it back? Oh, did they call it back? Yes, they are. What do we got? Two yard game. So it's fourth and about three. Boy, Jim, no, no reason at all for a hold. I mean, you can see it just developed. No one played. Inside the one yard line. And took it, ran with confidence off the right. Football short. 24 yards on the carry by Ty Wilkerson. Off to a great start in this one. Berwick trying to draw first blood. That ball is inside the one yard line. Wilkerson. Out of the Wildcat. Two blocking backs in front of him. He gets in off the right side for the touchdown. Ty Wilkerson in for the score. His 13th rushing touchdown of the season. Yeah, nothing fancy. Ashton Smith takes it. Pivots to his right. Gives it to Wilkerson behind blocking backs. And he's able to knife his way on into the end zone. So despite the late holding call, Berwick's able to regroup. Get the first score of this game. Caleb Yost, a ninth grader, 18 for 19 and extra points on the season. Ashton Smith will hold. A George snap is a good one. The kick is up, and his kick is a good one as well. 7.02 to go, first quarter. Burley 7, Duncanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Neighbor Fence Company has fencing for where you want it. Serving Columbia, Montour, and Luzerne Counties. Neighbor Fence provides top quality residential and commercial fencing. Vinyl, chain link, wood, aluminum, and ornamental fencing. Plus, vinyl railing and specialty products. Neighbor Fence Company, 1140 State Route 239 in Wapwalpin. Call 570-752-4423 or visit them online at NeighborFenceCompany.com. Neighbor Fence Company is a proud sponsor of local youth athletic teams. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Good start for the Bulldogs. Their first possession, six plays, 65 yards. They are able to overcome a holding call that brought back one touchdown. But Ty Wilkerson does the job, races 24 to the one, finishes it off with a one-yard burst. Wilkerson, two carries, 56 yards. And then that one-yard touchdown carry on that uh, drive as Berwick leads at 7-0. Caleb Yost following his extra point will kick off. It goes the far side of the field. Dropped by the return man at the 12. The return to the 15 to the 20 and out to the 25-yard line where Tunt Kenny will put it in play for their second possession. Jaden Ransom on the return, trying to weave his way, but Berwick very solid on the coverage down there on the far side. So Duncanic will get it. It was three and out for them on their first possession. It's a team that has struggled on the offensive end this season for the most part. As they have a slot to the left side, and it looks like Lipinski will take it in the Wildcat. Berwick showing blitz. Andrew Lipinski. Hands off. Carry straight ahead. And again, out to about the 29-yard line. 
Everett Snyder eventually catching him and throwing him down. But Carver him Lewis forward. on the carry. Yeah, threw a Carver Lewis forward for a couple of yards. He'll get about four on that run. His first carry of the game. He is a senior, six foot, two hundred pounder, three hundred nineteen yards rushing and five touchdowns coming in. Second down and six for Tonkanic at their own twenty-nine. Looks like Randall Paxton may take this snap. Jim, he's deep in the shotgun. So we have seen Tonkanic's third quarterback with 6.13 still to go in the opening quarter, and the Tigers will use a timeout. 7 nothing Bulldogs, you're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. The Mayo Funeral Homes, located at 110 Chestnut Street in Berwick and 77 Main Street in Shikshini, are proud sponsors of Berwick Bulldog Football. The Mayo Funeral Homes, serving all faves, makes it easier for those you love with prearranged funeral counseling, insurance, and pre-financed funerals. Mayo Funeral Homes also offers expert guidance in both traditional and cremation services. Mayo Funeral Homes, perfection in every detail. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. 6-11 to go, opening quarter, Berwick off to a 7-0 lead. When I talked to Tuck Cannon coach Pat Keating earlier this week, we were going over a lineup, and I said, how about quarterback? He said, we have a three-headed monster. <laughs> well, all three heads of that monster have already taken snaps, and we still... Have 6 11 to go in this opening quarter. Tunkanic following their timeout. Second and six at their own 29. Luke Siprich back there with Randall Paxton in the backfield. Paxton takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself off the right side. Has some running room. Spins to the 34. A little bit short of the first down yardage. Yeah, nice play by the defensive end, Skyler Neville. Was able to catch him running in the C-gap. I drug ahead for a few yards, so it'll be a third and very short coming up. Paxton, a pretty good runner. 118 yards, 4.7 yards of carry coming in. So third down and one. Tunkanic at their 34. Paxton is a 5'11", 180-pound junior. Takes the snap, keeps it himself, tries the left side, will not get the first down. Great defense by the Bulldogs. Rocco Romeo penetrating from the middle linebacker position, caught the man in the backfield and spun him back. It'll be fourth and short as they'll give him forward progress, and I don't see a punter coming out. Rocco Romeo, number one, and the Bulldogs in tackles coming in with 26, seven tackles for loss coming into this game. And he got number eight right there, so it's fourth down and one. And Tuck Canning is going for it. They try to get him to jump. Nope. Paxton again takes the snap off the right side, has the first down, then some good effort out to the 40 yard line. Third one, they picked up six. And Ty Wilkerson had to come up from the safety position to make the tackle like a linebacker, but that will move the chains. So the Tigers come into this game with a three and six record. Their are victories over a Holy Redeemer, Wyoming area and Montrose have a, their initial first down of the game at the their own 40 yard line as they move from our right to our left in this opening period Zach Litwinski back at quarterback and he's under center and four receivers out here to the left and a quick out to Paxton and he's going to throw and a man's wide open the pass comes up short incomplete great play call for Tunkanic. they had a man open by 20 yards the pass came up way short and the bulldogs dodge a bullet there yeah trick play quarterback gets it throws it sideways and backward a little bit paxton who's still in there who has quarterbacking skills makes the catch on the long overhanded lateral and then throws deep downfield Berwick did suck up on the play. They weren't in coverage as they should have been, but the ball's underthrown and the receiver can't come back to it. Second down and 10. Tigers at their 40. Caden Simmers, the tight end of the right side. Paxton awaits the shotgun snap, and he's back to throw. He's looking long down the far side. It's a one on one situation. The ball is tipped and incomplete. Alex Estrella with a terrific play on the football. Yeah, Andrew Lipinski, dangerous Wildcat quarterback, now at wide receiver, is streaking down the field on the far sideline. But as you mentioned, Berwick had really good coverage on him. 
bats the ball away. And no help for Estrella. He was no, on his own out there he's and on did an the island. job. 5'10", 175-pound junior captain for the Bulldogs. Had a good season from that safety position. Just made a terrific play. Bring up third down and 10 for all, Tun Cannon. All sorts of changes at the skill position. The line comes out on the football. They know where they're going to be. But it seems every skill person made a change. Three receivers to the left. Third and 10. Letwinski, the quarterback. Back to throw. Big, big pass rush. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 34-yard line. Gabe Decker will get the most credit for it, but a great pass rush by everyone on the Berwick front four. He stepped up to get away from the defensive tackles, and then Decker collapses on him. It'll be a loss of about four, and this time we will see the punting unit, Jim. Yeah, fourth and 16. They give him a loss of six back to the 34-yard line. So Berwick will get it back. Julian Howie back anticipating the punt. Lucas Siprich will be doing the punting for his team. Back at his 22, Aiden Anderson does the long snapping for this team. Good snap. Siprich's kick very, very short. Takes a good roll where Tunkanik is concerned. And rolls dead at the 31. Julian Howie comes very close to the ball just to irritate Andy Lick. <laughs> Not as close as he could have been, but... Yeah, it was one of those rugby-style punts. He didn't want to get a lot under it and risk the return, so it doesn't go far in the air. But he's kicking sort of the back of the ball, and it goes, and when it hits, it's going to roll and roll and roll. And yes, Berwick punt returner should run away from it instead of toward it, but, you know, I'm not going to cry yet. <laughs> Berwick with the football, their second possession. First one resulted in a 65-yard scoring drive. They have it at their 31-yard line, 3.15 to go in the quarter, 7-0 Bulldogs. Every touch on the last series by Ty Wilkerson. After a shift, he is the tailback in the eye. Aiden Jord ahead of him. Wilkerson gets the call off the left side and spins out to the 34-yard line, picks up about three on the play. Caden Simmers diving in at his angles to not allow him to get himself and get that motor running downfield. Trips him up after a four-yard game. Second down and seven. The ball at the 34-yard line. That's Neville, the tight end on the right, gave Decker to the left. Again, the eye formation. Everett Snyder is the fullback. Ahead of Wilkerson, who's hit behind the line, and he'll lose a yard. Great penetration by a Tiger. Yeah, I'm trying to see which one deserves the credit, and I believe it is Siprich. Crashing in from the outside, got him before he could get his momentum through the line of scrimmage. He'll knock him back for a yard or two. Loss of one. Third down and eight. Berwick at their own 33-yard line. Might be a passing situation. So far, every touch has been by Ty Wilkerson. Ashton Smith at the quarterback controls probably has a series of passes. They've worked with him. Gavin Galusha is to the right of Wilkerson, who takes the... Wildcat snap, keeps the football, breaks free. 45 over midfield. Down the far sideline, 25 20. It's a foot race, and that race always goes to Ty Wilkerson. This one, 67 yards. Give him 135 yards on the game here early in the first quarter, Jim. He took the shotgun snap, and it had a little counter trailer. People coming from the backside pulled to the right. Got a kick-out block. He also had blockers up there. It's a sort of fullback, H-back. People going through the line. He bursts through. No one to even touch him. Two-hand tag, one-hand tag. No way stopping him. He's able to go. Caleb Yost will attempt the extra point out of the hold of Ashton Smith. Aiden George, good snap. Kick is low. Might have been deflected. Yeah. I think it was. So the extra point attempt fails. 152 to go opening quarter. Berwick, 13. Tuncanic, nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football Pop Radio. 
Mason's Monogramming has the largest selection of Bulldog items in Berwick. Family owned with more than 35 years experience. And new Bulldog wear for every age, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, polos, hats, and more. They even make online fundraising easy for you. Stop in today to discuss your next fundraising opportunity. You can also shop at masonsmonogramming.com for their new inventory and select in-person pickup or shipping right to you. Follow their Instagram at Mason's Monogramming for their latest new items. Mason's Monogram Service in Berwick. Let them personalize for you. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Two possessions, two scores for Berwick. The latest of the spectacular variety. 67 yards by Ty Wilkerson. And Berwick leads 13 to nothing as Caleb Yost tees it up for the Bulldogs. 10 carries, 135 yards for Ty Wilkerson has every touch on every possession for the Bulldogs so far. Lipinski and Ransom deep for the Tigers. Kick is a line drive kick to Ransom back at the Tiger 10-yard line to the 15 to the 20. Looks for some running room, has some, gets out to the 27, maybe the 28-yard line. I like the way Berwick came down in coverage, Jim, and as Ransom slows down deciding should I go left, right, or up the middle, the Berwick people in their lanes broke now, kind of marked time to see which way he was going to go, and then finally he committed, the five blue jerseys committed to him. Nice coverage. First and ten, Tunkanek at their own 29-yard line. As we play, guess the quarterback. Looks like <laughs> Lipinski right now. 14. Three receivers to the left. Julian Howey is in that Berwick secondary now. Billy Hansen there as well. The quarterback gets the snap, looks for some running room, and nothing there. Flags fly, maybe a face mask. Maybe. Gavin Galusha was in defensively, and he made the first hit in the backfield. But the quarterback, or Wildcat quarterback, spun away from him and started here to the near side to the Berwick sideline. Berwick had people on the perimeter, able to cage him in for look like about a seven or eight yard loss. But as you mentioned, the hand may have come up to the face mask. And that'll change things around a little bit. I don't know what that signal is, but it's going against Tunkanik. I missed the signal, assuming the face mask. No. No, both I've been fists, a late hold. Both fists against the the cap it was, it's not a hold mm. but it's a big one who is it ever it's all the way back to the 14 yard line so it's a 15 yard penalty first and 25 for the tigers out of the shotgun two running backs zach lewinsky qb in Surround the quarterback. Latwinski's pass is knocked down incomplete. Caleb May. Tell you, he's missed considerable time with injuries this season, but he is a terrific corner. Great break on the football. Right on there, but he hit Jaden Ransom right into numbers, and it bounced off the numbers. But while Berwick may have been able to stop it, had he caught it, probably should have been caught. Set up second and very long. Well, it should be second. They didn't change the marker. But back, they're just slow. Back at the 14-yard line. <laughs> slot to the left side, slot to the right. Tunkanic back to their 14. Pass over the middle, incomplete, over the head of the intended receiver. Throw Ransom. to Ransom again, yeah, Jim. And I think the quarterback had one route in mind, and Ransom had a different route in mind. Looked like he wanted to send him out and up the sideline. But instead of running it as a wheel route, the man was coming inside. So a broken play. There are not a lot of plays in the playbook for third and 25. But that's what Tunkanik faces back at their 14-yard line. They've yet to complete a pass with any of their throwers. See how they play it on this long. Back to throw. Firing behind the intended receiver at the 32-yard line. That Ransom. was Ransom. 
And so fourth down, and the punt team will come on for the Tigers. Ransom had two drops and a route in the wrong direction out of the last three plays, Jim. So not a good series for the wide receiver from Tunkanic as they'll go back into punt formation here. Last one came up short, but again, by design, aiming for a good bounce. Berwick might be smart to put two people back and up a little bit shorter to prevent that long bounce. Sipprich back at his three-yard line. Shiloh Escobar back in single safety. It's uh -oh. a low snap. It goes into the end zone. Picked up there. He'll try to run it out. Does he get out of the end zone? No, it's a safety for Berwick. Better off for John Canick than getting out to the one-yard line and Berwick powering it in for a touchdown and six points. Instead, they'll give up two. Siprich had to take the low snap, follow it into his end zone. He caught it and started rolling to his right, and I thought he'd be able to get something off with his foot. I thought he'd be able to sort of rugby style that one away. Instead, he got a little panicky, tried to run it out of the end zone. Pretty much fortunate for did his he? own team did that he? he did it. Did he? They're placing the ball at the one yard line. Oh. I thought for sure I saw an official give the signal for safety. I thought they should have. I never thought he got it out of the end zone, Jim. But they are spotting it on the length of the football, one yard short. The worst case scenario for Tunkanic. So Ashton Smith will be under center, an eye formation behind him. Ty Wilkerson is the <laughs> lead back, but they give it to Chase Shuckers, was it? Yes, it was, Jim. 6'2", 265, blocking back, is given the ball. The first touch that has not gone to Ty Wilkerson in this game. That's a one-yard touchdown for Chase Shuckers. I'm going to have to add him to my stat sheet. And how about on senior night, a lineman who has not put his hands on the football in four years gets a touchdown. Exciting. Exciting. Caleb Yost will attempt the extra point. And flags and whistles. Before the, the kick. kick up through. Yeah. A lot of problems down here at this goal line. Offside to Kanick. And since it was whistled dead, they'll move it half the distance. But I think Berwick's still going to opt to kick this. Let's see. Grandfather George Curry always liked when you got half the distance of going for the two-point conversion. It looks like grandson C.J. Curry is going to change his personnel here. Yeah, and I think uh, the fact that they had one blocked earlier. Yeah. They're going to try to get that point back. As Ashton Smith trots on to do the quarterbacking. Ball at the yard and a half mark. Gavin Galusha is the running back. There's blocking backs to the left. And Galusha goes to the right, trying to get in. The officials have not indicated yes. yet. And now, one does. Two point conversion for Gavin Galusha. Time on the field, 56 seconds remaining in the opening quarter with the score Berwick 21 and Tunkanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Are you on the market for a new set of wheels? Once you find it, whether it's a functional grocery getter or a midlife crisis hot rod, the tag and title experts at Berwick Notary in Berwick are open six days a week, so you can be rest assured you'll be on the road and illegal in no time. Berwick Notary can transfer a title, register an ATV, or any kind of vehicle. And they're the only notary in Columbia County that registers boats. Berwick Notary's been serving the Bulldog community for over 40 years, and they proudly support the Berwick Bulldogs. Check out their Facebook page and go dogs! This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Berwick gets the ball at the Titanic one-yard line after a bad snap on a punt attempt by the Tigers. And Chase Shuckers, a 6'2", 265-pound senior, gets the first carry of his career, and it's for a touchdown. And the Bulldogs is sitting there lead to 21-0, 56 seconds remaining. In this first quarter, as Logan Robinson will kick off for Berwick. Lipinski and Ransom are deep. The kick goes to one of the up men at the 23 yard line. The return to the 30 and out to the 37, still on his feet, as Alex Estrella among the people in on the tackle for Berwick. So Tunkanic will get it. 
for the third time in this opening quarter, which has 48 seconds remaining. And they trail Berwick 21-0. Looking for a flag on the kickoff. The kicker kind of approached the ball and took a little sideways loop toward it. Throws his, uh, his tacklers off a little bit as they may have beaten to the football. High formation for the Tigers. First down from their 37-yard line. Lipinski goes in motion to the right. The handoff to the right. First down carry will net him about three out to the 40-yard line. Everett Snyder coming up from linebacker to make the hit, but a nice opening play there. Carver Lewis on the carry. He picks up four. Second down and six for the Tigers at their 41. Perhaps the last play of this opening quarter. Upcoming. As Tuncanic looks to the sideline. They, they don't, let have, it run to, out. They don't yeah. have to get a playoff. It looks like they're content to let this first quarter come to an end. Still people walking off, and now the linemen are going to go join them. One in the books here at Crestman Field. Berwick 21, Tuncanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Family tradition is the foundation of Nespoli Jewelers, a family tradition started by Joseph Nespoli and continued by his grandson, Jonathan. For three generations, Nespoli Jewelers have prided themselves on mixing fine with fashion. Jonathan can customize your engagement ring and wedding bands, design a unique piece of jewelry inspired by you, or simply help you find an affordable gift. Service, quality, creativity. Nespoli Jewelers, yesterday's principles, today's creations. East Front Street in Berwick and online at NespoliJewelers.com. Mason's Mon- Grammy has the largest selection of Bulldog items in Berwick. Family owned with more than 35 years experience. And new Bulldog wear for every age, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, polos, hats, and more. They even make online fundraising easy for you. Stop in today to discuss your next fundraising opportunity. You can also shop at masonsmonogramming.com for their new inventory and select in-person pickup or shipping right to you. Follow their Instagram at masonsmonogramming for their latest new items. Mason's Monogram Service in Berwick. Let them personalize for you. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Great start for the Bulldogs. They lead 21-0. After one quarter, Tunkanic has the football. They'll be moving from our left to our right in the second period. They have a second down and six, and they have it at their own 41-yard line. Showing a variety of formations and three different quarterbacks in that opening quarter. Zach Litwinski taking the snap under center. Berwick showing blitz. Run off the right side. Nothing doing. They'll lose back to the 37-yard line. Scarlett Neville played it real well at defensive end, not allowing anything to open in the C-gap. And then he's helped by Rocco Romeo and others on the hit. And a flag down well after the play. And, boy, that was the story of last week's game at Sealands Grove for Berwick. Officials talk things over. Julian Howey, I believe, was the guilty party. And not surprisingly, he will come off. Personal foul. Wow. You know, coming into this game, Berwick had committed 28 more turnovers than the opposition. That's a tough way to operate. It is. It really is. Seven personal fouls, nine for 125 yards, and penalties all together in the Sealands Grove game. And here, the big flag again. And that will give Tug Kanick a first down at the Berwick 46-yard line. Lipinski awaits the Wildcat snap, but the snap goes to the person next to him. Lipinski is just the decoy. The person next to him goes nowhere as Rocco Romeo is across that line of scrimmage in a hurry. Randall Paxton, who we've seen doing some wildcat, took that, but he'll lose a yard. As Rocco Romeo does come hard from his linebacker position on a blitz to stop. They mark it at the 47, a loss of a yard, second down and 11. We're just underway in the second quarter. Regular season finale here at Crestman Field. Two teams headed toward the District 2 3A playoffs next week regardless of what happens in this one. I formation. Ladwinski. Under center. Gives off the left side. Lots of running room inside the 40 to the Berwick 37-yard line. They'll come up just short 
of the first down yardage. Carver Lewis takes it from a tailback position. Lucas Siprich blocking for him up the A-gap off the left side, and he finds room. Stretches it. He'll come out just a half a yard short, Jim. Nine-yard gain. Third down and one. Duncanic trying to get this game. Trailing 21-0. Deepest penetration for them now, Berwick 38. Sure, four down territory. High formation. Witski under center. Gives to Lewis and Rocco Romeo across there in a hurry. They do not get the first down. Rocco Romeo's been blitzing on an awful lot of these plays. Watch Tunkanic try to turn the tables, try to lure him into that blitzing situation, and then throw over the middle. Berwick's been vulnerable in that area in the Sealands Grove game where two big catches over the middle hurt them dramatically. So it's fourth down and two. Lewis is the fullback, head of Siprich in the eye. Fourth down call, Tigers in Berwick territory. Browning in motion and Lipinski in motion and uh, Can't do that. they use a timeout <laughs> to prevent a penalty. They got the timeout call. 9.15 to go in the half. 21-0 Bulldogs. You're listening to Burley Football and Pop Radio. Free checking for you and your business. No strings attached. Sounds perfect, right? First Keystone Community Bank offers free personal and business checking options with free Visa debit card, no monthly fees, no minimum balance, and no monthly qualifying requirements. Checking with no gimmicks, just what you need. They'll be celebrating 160 years of serving their communities with 19 full-service locations and convenient digital banking tools 24-7. First Keystone Community Bank, local banking for the community we all call home. Online at fkc.bank. Equal opportunity lender member FDIC. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. 9.15 to go first half here at Crispin Field. 21-0 Berwick leads to Uncanny. This is the final week of the regular season. Some big rivalry games in the area. Bloomsburg, Central Columbia. Of course, the coal bucket game as Mal Carmel takes on unbeat Jamokin. Ashland Walshaw will bring us updated on all the scores at halftime. Here's a big call for Tun Kenning. Following their timeout, they have a fourth and two. They have it at the Burry 38-yard line. Lipinski will take the Wildcats snap. Three receivers to the left. Andrew Lipinski fakes a pitch, then he does pitch it, and they will not get the first down. The running back stops short at the 40-yard line. Rocco Romeo, Gavin Galusha. It had an awkwardness to it. First, they're going to run option out of shotgun. Quarterback gets it, and he's very hesitant on his steps to the left. Didn't really look like he was going to run at all. So when he finally left-handed pitches it out there, it's not a real good sell. Berwick's anticipating it. And as we mentioned, Rocco Romeo, Gavin Galusha, both coming up strong to make the hit. They needed two. They got one. Berwick takes over at their own 39-yard line. 908 to go in the half. Bulldogs have scored on every possession. They lead this one 21 0. High formation. Under centers, Ashton Smith. Play action. Back to throw. He has a man wide open. It is Billy Hanson. And Hanson going to go the distance for the touchdown. Well, Ashton Smith. Smith threw a touchdown pass to Billy Hansen on the first possession for Berwick this season against Lake Lehman. And now they connect on the final game of the regular season with 8.58 to go in the half. Yeah, this wasn't expected, Duncan, thinking we have to stop the run, we have to cheat up and stop Ty Wilkerson. But a little play action fake inside, takes two or three more steps and then heaves it deep to Billy Hansen. He's 15 yards past the safeties. Catches it easily as he kind of glides into a stride and takes it for the score. 61 yards on the reception. Extra point attempt by Caleb Yost. Kick is up and the kick is good. Time out in the field. 8.58 to go first half. Early 28. Truncanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs football and pop radio. 
For over 50 years, you've trusted Overhead Door to provide the finest quality residential and commercial garage door products, installation, and service. With winter right around the corner, your garage doors need a tune-up. For only $99 for one or $125 for multiple doors, they'll check, lube, and adjust your garage doors and openers so they operate smoothly. Call for their seasonal tune-up special, Overhead Door of Berwick. They're more than just doors. See their five-star rating on their Google business page or visit ohdberwick.com. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Ashton Smith with the pass will wide open Billy Hansen, 61 yards for the latest Berwick touchdown. As the Bulldogs extend their lead over Tunkanic to 28-0 with 8.58 to go here in the opening half. Logan Robinson will kick off for the Bulldogs. Again, Hansen's first touchdown grab since the opening series of the opening game short kick field at the 24 the return to the 30 and out to the 32 yard line that's where Tunkenick will put it play Aiden George on the stop of special teams for the Bulldogs yeah nice coverage by Berwick on these kicks Aiden George in good position has to make the solo tackle as the man comes up upon him Mark the ball at the Tigers 37 yard line. That's where they have a first and 10. And we'll be guessing the quarterback yet again, Jim. We've been seeing a lot of Zach Letwinski. He is the expected starter. Wildcat running with Andrew Lupinski and a lot of Randall Paxton as well. Latwinski is the quarterback. Toss sweep left side to Siprich and he is brought down by Schuyler Neville as he gets out to about the 39-yard line, picks up a couple. You know, Andy, when Tuncana came out, I thought, man, I can't see those numbers very well, but at least I'll know who the quarterback is <laughs> <laughs> on every snap. It was 6-11 to go in the first quarter. We had already seen three quarterbacks. Yeah, and yeah, they have... Bright orange numbers that kind of glare in the lights. There's not much of an outline around it. And the trouble, too, be seeing Carver Lewis with eight and Lucas Siprich at nine doesn't help either in the backfield. Randall Paxton will take the snap out of the pistol. He hands off, and Berwick is all over the play. J.J. Leonard crashing through, shucking his blocker at the line of scrimmage, shooting the gap, dropping the man. Right about in his tracks there. Real nice play by J.J. Leonard on Lucas Siprich. Well, he has been outstanding the last couple weeks on that defensive line for Berwick. And again, just a junior. He could be a monster his senior season. Here's a third down and 10. Tunkanic at their 37-yard line. Slot to the left side. After a shift, got three receivers to the right. Quarterback Paxton rolling that way, fires a pass, coming back, trying to make the catch in front of the Berwick bench to the 45, but not able to do it as Daniel Browning incomplete. They shifted two backs from the left side over to the right, the two slots, and they stayed the block for additional protection. And yet Skyler Neville just took on the outside man, swam around him, and pressured the quarterback into a bad throw. So Lucas Siprich will be back to punt. Last time they had a punting situation, a bad snap with Berwick in great position at the Tunkanic one. Shiloh Escobar deep. Snap is good, but the kick is not. Very, very high. And it will roll dead about the Berwick 44-yard line. So just 19 yards on the punt. Bulldogs in good field position with 7.07 remaining in this half. And they have a chance to put this game into a mercy rule mode as they lead Tunkanic 28 to nothing. Most of the offense has been handoffs to Tyler Wilkerson or having him in Wildcat not even bother with the handoff. We've seen Shea Shuckers with a one-yard TV being rewarded as a senior, able to bust in after that almost safety, and then a deep pass to Billy Hansen for 61 yards for the sole pass of the game. There was a holding call against Tunkanic on that punt. Berwick declines it. The Bulldogs will 
himself in this good field position at their own 44. Billy Hansen, who caught the long touchdown pass in the last possession, is in a slot to the right side. Jay Shucker is a little late coming on to the field. Yeah, still basking in the glory of yeah, his touchdown run. I would too. <laughs> Ashton Smith gives the ball to Ty Wilkerson and Tunkanik. All over the play, Ty will lose two. Josiah Parr coming from right defense and then just chased the play down back there in the backfield. Wilkerson going off the right was with deliberation looking for a seam to open. Josiah Parr able to catch him in the backfield on a two yard loss. Second out and 12. Berwick at their 42 yard line. Estrella wide right. Hanson in a slot to that side. Julian Howie wide to the left. Ashton Smith out of the gun. Back to throw. Fires to the sideline, has Howie. He backtracks a little, then gets ahead to about the 48, maybe the 49-yard line. Third down call coming for Berwick near midfield. Julian Howie hasn't had a catch in a while because Berwick hasn't had completions in the last couple games. That's his eighth catch of the season. He'll get about five on that. Third down and six, Berwick at their own 49-yard line. Howie, again, wide to the left, slot to the right. Wilkerson is the running back to the left of Ashton Smith, who operates out of the gun. Has the snap, but he's back to throw, and he fires its sidearm to Billy Hansen, makes a man miss, and another 40, 35, and dragged down at the 27-yard line. Some nifty moves in the open field by Billy Hansen. Yes, it was, and Jaden Ransom kind of stayed with him, chasing behind the play to be able to have a touchdown saving tackle nice pass by ashton smith he kind of side armed it out to hansen who was only about five yards downfield but as you mentioned a little uh, jump step one way and a move inside and outside crossing the field real nice 24 yards on the reception by billy hansen Berwick first down at the tonkanic 27 wilkerson's the running back but smith back to throw again Nothing there. He's in trouble. He's going to be sacked back in the 36-yard line. One pump fake, two one many, and Andrew Lipinski in on the play along with Ethan Dominic. Yeah, but if it's not open, Jim, you don't want to throw it. He suffered interceptions early in the year. You know, he's had to you know, deal with that mentally, and he wanted to make sure he wasn't going to throw it in Tunkanic hands. So you may pump it, you may think I'm going to pump it again, I just can't escape, I can't run, you take the sack. Loss of nine on the play. The ball at the Tunkhannock 36-yard line. Second down and 19 Berwick as the Bulldogs move from our right to our left here in the second quarter, which has 4.25 remaining. Estrella wide to the right. Howie wide left. Smith out of the gun. Wilkerson to his left. In motion is Everett. Back to throw is Smith. Fires to the far side, a man wide open, and he drops it. Ooh. Yeah, Gabe Decker just leaked out after feigning the block as the right tight end. He was all by himself in the flat. Couldn't really ask much more of Ashton Smith than getting it out there, but I think Gabe Decker hurried himself in trying to make the catch and turn it upfield, and instead, no catch. And Gabe has lost his mojo where yeah. pass receiving is concerned. He has seven on the season, but those seven came very, very early. Yeah, and there's been a number of them off his hands. In the Seedlands Grove game, there was one off his hands and into the defender's hand that went for a touchdown. Here is a third down and 19. Berwick hoping to get at least enough to make a fourth down reasonable. And the Bulldogs will talk it over. Timeout, Berwick, 4.05 to go first half, 28 nothing. Bulldogs, you're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. Rids Roofing, the roofing ninjas of Berwick. The roofing experts for all of our listening area. With over 30 years experience and great rates, why go anywhere else when Reds Roofing will get the job done right for your roofing, decks, and siding. Specializing in metal roofs, rubber roofs, and shingles. Most of the work is done in one day. Reds Roofing, the roofing ninjas. Now located in Dushore and also serving Bradford and Sullivan counties with owner Harry Titus, a supporter of the Berwick football team and St. Jude Children's Hospital. Call 570-752-4351. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. 28, 
nothing is the Berwick advantage with 4.05 to go in the first half. Bulldogs just used a timeout. Talk about a third down and 19. They have the ball at the Tunkhannock 36-yard line. Ty Wilkerson hasn't been getting the carries of late. Jim, he had the preponderance of carries early. In fact, for a while, he had like the first 10 touches for his team. And while it is third and very long, and traditionally you think passing play, nothing wrong with getting the ball to Ty Wilkerson, although I don't see him in there. He is there, one of three receivers to the right, as Ashton oh. Smith awaits the shotgun snap. Third and 19, Smith back to throw. Rolling right, stops. Steps up into it, fires into traffic. It's off the hands of Julian Howie at the 15-yard line. I tell you what, Ashton Smith deserves a better fate on this series. Yep, Gabe Decker had a drop, and now Julian Howie should have been able to catch this one on the go, and they would have been approaching the first down distance, at least made it a makeable fourth down attempt. I think Berwick's still going to go for it. The question is what type of play. Howie was uh, the inside of Tripp's receivers up the top of the field and ran a crossing pattern, more of a skinny post, unable to hold on to the football. Fourth and 19, four receivers to the right, including Ty Wilkerson and Billy A. Hansen. Uh, that's not what they want. <laughs> no, <laughs> timeout. Berwick uses a timeout. 3.58 to go in the half, 28 nothing. Bulldogs, you're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. Are your appliances feeling a little bit outdated? You're looking for the best deals in town? Well, look no further than Flick Brothers Electric, your go-to family-owned appliance paradise. Flick Brothers Electric has all the top-notch name-brand appliances you could ever dream of. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, microwaves, stoves. They even give free estimates on Fujitsu ductless air conditioner heat pump units. Flick Brothers Electric on Maple Lane. Keeping Bloomsburg cool, clean, and cooking for over 65 years. Call them at 570-784-3444. W234BH West Hazelton at 94.7. WVWX W242CY Berwick at 96.3. W282CO Bloomsburg at 104.3. And W288CF Danville at 105.5. Your home for Berwick Bulldogs football is Pop Radio. A Seven Mountains Media Station. remaining first half here at Crispin Field. Berwick leads Tunkhannock 28-0. Bulldogs following their timeout. Fourth and 19, but they have it at the Tunkhannock 36. So they're going for it. Three receivers to the right, Julian Howie to the left. Ashton Smith has the shotgun snap, and he's back to throw, and he has time. Looking, looking, looking. Now he's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked. No, he gets the pass away, incomplete. Does a good job of that. I don't think they'll mark him back there, but Tunkhannock will get the football. Yeah, I don't know if nobody's opening or he's not finding the open receiver. I'm not really looking downfield. I think they won him, you know, kind of limiting himself to a primary, maybe a secondary receiver. Not all four people out on the route. He bought himself a little time with a little semi-roll off to the right and then tried to step up, but Tunkhannock eventually gets in on him. And they are saying that he was in the grasp, so it's a sack for Tunkhannock, and they will take over the football, and they'll take over in good field position at their own 44 with 350 remaining in the half, and Berwick leading 28-0. Wing to the left, wing to the right. Lipinski takes the Wildcat snap and runs it himself off the left side. Rocco Romeo is spending this night in the Tunkhannock backfield. He makes another play from his linebacker spot. Yes, he does. A lot of blitzing by design of Romeo, the middle linebacker in this 4-3 look. I mentioned there's a danger when he vacates with all these blitzes and pop passes over the middle. But there are four deep in the secondary to keep an eye on the receivers as they get in that area, and especially when they know a blitz has been called. Second down and 11, Tunkhannock at their own 43-yard line. Romeo, one of seven seniors, his final home appearance of his career, leading the Bulldogs in tackles with 26 coming in this one. And he's adding to that total here in the first half. Tigers look to the sideline for the play call. Two seconds. Snap. Back to throw. Flags down behind the line of scrimmage. Pass downfield incomplete. 
That was Latwinski on the throw intended for Ransom. And we'll check the flag. Yeah, where you'd expect the hold to be called. Quarterback started to drop back and then rolled to the right. Flag went to where he was deepest in his drop where the hold would have occurred. Berwick could push them back to 10 yards or take the incomplete. They're going to push him back. Yeah, it would have been third down and 11 or remain second down but long as the penalty takes him back to the 33-yard line. Tunkanik has yet to complete a pass. I've let Winsky 0 for 4, but again, a number of them have been dropped as he's putting them in receiver's hands. Randall Paxton 0 for 2 throwing, and again, one of those well, could have been a nice long touchdown pass, but it was underthrown. Third, second down and 21. Back at the 33. Berwick blitzing and Skylar Neville from his defensive end position wraps up the running back. A very short gain defending. Well, Skylar Neville played it real well. Carver Lewis tried to go up the middle. He wanted to take it wider outside, but Car uh, Skylar Neville just pushed everything inside. It was not going to allow a sleep to get by him. He shortened down the distance of everything and just gave the man nowhere to roam. Third down and 21. No gain on that play. Line of scrimmage to the 33-yard line. Lipinski's in there, but he's one of three wide receivers to the right. As Lotwinski awaits the shotgun snap. Empty backfield for him. Watch for Berwick to come after the quarterback here. Back to throw, gets the pass away, into traffic, makes a completion out to the 46-yard line. Jaden Ransom makes the catch. There is a flag down behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, he was fighting as a quarterback. They're going to call it roughing the passer, Jim. So the pass is going to come up about eight yards shy. So I think you add the 15 yards to the completed pass, and you should get the first down. Is that the way it's marked off? I'm glad I'm not an official. I mentioned Berwick's been blitzing the middle linebacker, Rocco Romeo. So there's going to be a natural hole in the middle where the linebacker's not dropping deep into a zone in the middle. Berwick's secondary has to try to take that play away when they do call Romeo coming through hard. But apparently they're struggling with that particular coverage. Boy, long developing officials conference here. Okay, it's roughing the passer against Is Berwick. Another? We no. do that. And is it? It is a first down. Looks like an automatic first yes, down. at the 48-yard line. So first so and 10. They needed 21, but the penalty will give them an automatic first down at their own 48-yard line. So no catch, they take the penalty. Still no completed passes. Receiver to either side. Adwinski awaits the shotgun snap, and he has it, and he's back to throw, and he's looking for Lipinski, and it's knocked down incomplete. Ball pretty well thrown, and Caleb May with a good play on the football. Yeah, mad at himself, though, Jim. The better play would have been the interception. He got up high. The receiver actually gave him a little bit of shove to get separation, but the ball never went that deep. Caleb May with great position, but that little jostling at the end knocked off his concentration to be able to intercept the football. Second down and 10. Tunkanik at their own 48-yard line. Three receivers to the right. Out of the shotgun. Back to throw. Otwinski over the middle to Ransom. Ransom and it goes through his hands and incomplete. Billy Hanson, the closest one there for the Bulldogs. Boy, Ransom's having a bad night, Jim. That's at least his third drop. He had one where he ran the wrong route. The ball's being delivered, and I feel for Letwinski. He's putting the ball where it needs to go. It's just his receivers letting him down a little bit, especially on that play. Third down and ten. Duncanic from their own 48. Wadwinski awaits the shotgun snap. A slot to the right side, a wide receiver left. He's looking to the left out of the backfield, the pass beyond the reach of the intended receiver. So 
Fourth down coming. Yeah, trying to get it to Caden Simmons on sort of a little slip screen. He was sneaking out maybe from tight end into the flat near the line of scrimmage. But when those passes are just that little bit off target and the man has his back, you know, to the defenders, he's not able to react well enough. Simmers is a junior tight end, 5'11", 190 pounder, just one catch on the season coming in. So punting situation. Shallow Escobar back in single safety for the Bulldogs. And the kick is very, very high. And we'll take a good bounce where Tunkanek is concerned. And roll dead at the Berwick 14-yard line. So the Bulldogs will get it one more time here in the first half, which has 123 remaining. They have one timeout remaining, and they lead Tunkanek 28-0. Shiloh Escobar is going to become my favorite punt returner on this team. Didn't catch the ball, but when he let it bounce, he backed away from it. It's uh, amazing how that fundamental <laughs> gets <laughs> lost on every level. I mean, yeah. I've seen it at oh, the college yeah. level and even the pros. Oh, yeah. So Berwick has it at their own 14-yard line. They'd like to put this into the mercy rule mode they can with the seven but just 123 to go in the half and they've been going more with trying some different offensive looks out they started the game feeding ty wilkerson till they got a comfortable lead and then they've kind of decided let's try other looks he's back there and shotgun now to take the wildcat snap officials stop play step in whistle i don't see a flag what do you got guys Umpire standing over the ball. They want to reset the clock. And really no big deal. Let them play. First down. Wilkerson awaits the Wildcats snap. Fakes handoff. Keeps the football. It opens up to him. Breaks out of attack tackle. The 25, the 30, the 35, the 40. Over midfield. Forget it. 20, 15, 10, 5. Ty Wilkerson. This one 86 yards. Give him 219 on the game. His third touchdown run by my count. Again, they've been letting other people play, trying to feature the passing game, trying to get other looks. And boy, when you want to close that gap and put it to the mercy rule before you get the half, just hand it to Ty Wilkerson. 219 yards now here in the first half of this ball game. And when he gets caught from behind, oh. it will be a first. Yeah. Caleb yeah. to attempt the extra point to try to put it into a mercy roll mode before the half ends. The hold by Ashton Smith. Oop, oop. And will not have a mercy roll unless Smith can throw it into the end zone. He can't. Could not handle the snap. Is brought down at the 21-yard line, so Berwick fails at an extra point for the second time in this game. 106 to go in the half, 34-0 Bulldogs. You're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. Hey, hometown fans. You know Journey Bank as your trusted local bank. But did you know we're also the biggest cheerleader for our community's youth? From athletes competing under the Friday night lights, to students excelling in the classroom, to talented teen stars singing center stage, we're investing in the future of our young people. At Journey Bank, we're committed to helping our kids score big in every aspect of life. Journey Bank, where dreams are nurtured and futures are built. Journey Bank, proud supporter of our local youth. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Ty Wilkerson's third touchdown in this opening half is his longest. 86 yards altogether. And Berwick extends their lead to 34-0. 106 remaining in the opening half. You know, he's so fast, you don't even get to describe the moves, Jim. He was in Wildcat, took it, and was running up inside the guards. Managed to wait, found the block, and, you know, people play up to try to stop him at the line of scrimmage so much that before you know it, he's in the clear and out running everybody. Logan Robinson's kickoff will be fielded at the 21-yard line. The return to the 30 and buried at the... 32-yard line. Billy Hansen coming down hard with a good tackle in there. And a flag down after the play. Yeah, right about the point of the tackle. Hansen kind of went helmet to helmet, face mask to face mask with the man. 
unsportsmanlike on Berwick. Where have we seen that before? Yeah. And why? Why? C.J. Curry's out saying, hey, what did they do and who did it? I want to know. Get me the number. You know, you need to really start addressing this, and sometimes it's one-on-one. -on -one. There's got to be some re repercussions for these type of penalties. It, it kind of gives your program a lack of class when you're constantly beginning with 15 yarders. And here's another one. Probably the low point of this first half. Yeah. As the ball will be out at the 47 yard line. Dunkenick has a first down. Tigers have one timeout remaining with 101 to go in the half. Zach Litwinski, the normal quarterback, is in shotgun here. Slot to the left, slot to the right. Litwinski gives off and a big running gap inside the 40 down to the Berwick 39 yard line. Best running play of the night. For Tunkanik. Yeah, Carver Lewis, Singleton back, takes it from the shotgun quarterback and just goes up the middle. We mentioned Rocco Romeo's been blitzing a lot, but if you hit the wrong A gap, say the one on the right, and this guy hits the one on the left, it's going to be smooth sailing with no middle linebacker in there. 14 yards for Lewis. He gets the ball again, up the gut. This time he meets some resistance, but good second effort. Gets him to the 35. He'll pick... Julian Howie almost had the interception. Clock stops with six seconds remaining in this opening half. Tried to hit the leading receiver, Andrew Lipinski, down there. Uh, Zach Litwinski is 0 for 8 in passing. Randall Paxton 0 for 2. So Tunkanik has not completed a pass in this first court, first half. Litwinski looks to the sideline. Head coach Pat Keating for the play. shirts and that will be the end of the first half of play with the score Berwick 34 ton 10 Elevate your driving experience with a comfortable cabin and expansive cargo capacity. Right now, WNL Mazda is offering 2.9% for 72 months. See us off Route 11 in Northumberland and online at WNLMazda.com. Financing available to well qualified applicants only. Offer cannot be combined with any other discounts or incentives other than loyalty or military offers. Offers end 1031 24. See WNL Mazda for complete offer details. Fall into savings at Ken Pollock Ford and take advantage of up to $10,000 off select F 150s in stock and up to $1,000 of trade assistance on our Bronco family lineup. With rates falling as low as 1.9% on select models, there's a vehicle for everyone's budget. Ken Pollock Ford is proud to have experts on hand with over 200 years of sales and service experience combined. Service pickup and drop off, loaner cars, mobile service, we do it all. Only at Ken Pollock Ford. Route 11 Berwick or online at kenpollockford.com. When you're shopping for insurance, you might say, What? Huh? I'm so over this. But what you really need to say is something that could actually help. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you get a local State Farm agent, they can help make it easy and help you choose the coverage you need. Plus, they're available online, over the phone, or even in person. I'm so into this. Visit your Bloomsburg State Farm agent, Sean Black, at insurebloomsburg.com. Planning your next big event? Weddings, concerts, church festivals, even construction sites. Preferred Portables has you covered. Preferred Portables offers a luxury restroom trailer that even has hot water. No power? No problem. They can provide a generator to keep the lights on. They even provide sanitary service to campgrounds, parks, parties, and have 24-hour emergency service. Contact Preferred Portables to learn about event and contractor pricing. Check out their website, preferredportables.com. We're number one when you have to go number two. It's time for the Berwick 
Bulldogs Halftime Show on Pop Radio. Brought to you by WNL Subaru, Nissan, and Mazda. Discover the WNL difference today. Jim Doyle and Andy Lickney from Crispin Field in Berwick. This is the regular season finale to the 2024 season. It's been all Berwick in this first half. They lead Tunkanic 34-0. Bulldogs scored on their first possession. Ty Wilkerson had a long touchdown run called back. No problem. Two plays later, 24-yard run to the one. In from the one-yard line for the score. He also had a 32-yard run on a six-play, 65-yard drive. Caleb Yost with the extra point. Berwick led by a score of 7 to nothing. On their next possession, Ty Wilkerson again. Taking that Wildcat snap. Out racing the secondary 67 yards for the touchdown. Extra point attempt failed, but Berwick led 13 to nothing. Bulldogs later in that quarter took advantage of a bad snap on Tunkanic's part from punt formation. Berwick recovering at the Tunkanic one yard line, and from there, a lineman's dream as Berwick put Chase Shuckers, one of seven seniors in his final home appearance, at a running back spot. He took it in for the first touchdown of his career. Caleb Yost had the extra point. Berwick led after one quarter, 21 to nothing. In the second quarter, Tunkanic had a fourth and two. In Berwick territory, they failed to get the first down. Berwick's defense outstanding once again, particularly against the run. And the Bulldogs struck on one play. 61-yard touchdown pass, Ashton Smith, who got the start at quarterback tonight, to Billy Hansen. Caleb Yost had the extra point. Berwick extended their lead to 28 to nothing. And then with the Bulldogs deep in their own territory, late in the half, Ty Wilkerson again. This time, 86 yards for the touchdown. There was a problem with the snap on the extra point. Berwick goes in at halftime, leading... 34 to nothing. Stay with us at the half. We'll have other scores with Ashlyn Walshaw. We'll have stats with Andy Ligney. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Be moved in a Mazda from WNL. Jump in with the whole family for a night of memories in the third row Mazda CX-90 plug-in hybrid, offering 1.9% financing for 72 months. Or choose bold utility in the all-new CX-70. You will elevate your driving experience with the comfortable cabin and expansive cargo capacity. Right now, WNL Mazda is offering 2.9% for 72 months. See us off Route 11 in Northumberland and online at WNLMazda.com. Financing available to well-qualified applicants only. Offer cannot be combined with any other discounts or incentives other than loyalty or military offers. Offers end 1031-24. See WNL Mazda for complete offer details. Mason's Monogramming has the largest selection of Bulldog items in Berwick. Family owned with more than 35 years experience. And new Bulldog wear for every age, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, polos, hats, and more. They even make online fundraising easy for you. Stop in today to discuss your next fundraising opportunity. You can also shop at masonsmonogramming.com for their new inventory and select in-person pickup or shipping right to you. Follow their Instagram at Mason's Monogramming for their latest new items. Mason's Monogram Service in Berwick. Let them personalize for you. This is Mike from M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. Is this the first time you've shopped with us? Let me explain why you should shop at a Carpet One store. We have over 1,300 store buying power. Carpet One stores sell more floor covering than the two big box stores do combined. That means not only do you get the best price, but you get to work with flooring professionals throughout the entire process from estimates to installation. No one will give you more for your flooring dollar than M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. Hey, hometown fans, you know Journey Bank as your trusted local bank. But did you know we're also the biggest cheerleader for our community's youth? From athletes competing under the Friday night lights, to students excelling in the classroom, to talented teen stars singing center stage, we're investing in the future of our young people. At Journey Bank, we're committed to helping our kids score big in every aspect of life. Journey Bank, where dreams are nurtured and futures are built. Journey Bank, proud supporter of our local youth. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. Berwick High School marching band under the direction of Anthony McDonald entertaining here at halftime at Crispin Field, home to Berwick football since 1929. It's the regular season finale this evening. Berwick rolling over Tunkhannock at the half, 34-0. 
Hurry football is powered by Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute and the region's only nationally ranked hospital for orthopedics by U.S. News and World Report. Our team is ranked among the top 20 in the nation and is your unrivaled partner for orthopedic care. Score here is 34 nothing. For an update on other scores, let's go to Ashton Walshaw. Um, thanks, Jim. Um, Bloomsburg leads Central Columbia 10-6 to at the half. Crestwood leads Wyoming Valley West 27 to 7 in the second. Dallas leads Lake Lehman 14 to 0 at the half. Danville leads Seals Grove 21 to 7 in the second. Hanover area leads Nanticoke 10 to 7 at the half. Abington Heights leads Hazelton area 7 to 0 at the half. Lackawanna leads Riverside 21 to 7 at the half. Mifflinburg and Lewisburg are currently tied 21 to 21 in the second. Loyal Sock leads Montoursville 14 to 0 in the second. Mid Valley leads Lakeland 19 to 7 at the half. Milton leads Warrior Run 12 to 7 in the second. Shimokin leads Mount Carmel 14 to 0 at the half. North Schuylkill leads Pottsville 12 to 0 at the half. Wyoming area leads Pittston area 7 to 0 in the third. Southern Columbia leads Shikalimi 39 to 6 in the second. Wilkes-Barre area leads Williamsport 14 to 13 in the second. Carbon Carbondale leads Old Forge 16 to 7 at the half. And Western Wayne defeated Dunmore yesterday 42 to 7. Now back to Crispin Field with Jim Doyle and Andy Ulickney. Uh, it's interesting, Ashlyn. Thank you for those scores. Western Wayne will have a little extra rest when they take, in all probability, Berwick next week. That's the way it's looking. Berwick came into this game uh, as the seventh seed in the District 2 AAA seedings. It didn't look like the Bulldogs could pass Carbondale, and Carbondale leading at the half might make that a moot point. But Bulldogs doing what they need to do as they lead here at the half, 34-0 over Tunkanic. Stats from the opening half, Andy Ligney. Well, overwhelmingly in favor of Berwick. In fact, it's sort of 6-1. to one. Berwick has held the Tunkanic Tigers just 50 yards on 31 plays. Berwick has almost 300 yards, 293 to be precise. Let's start with the Berwick defense. They've really been holding Tunkanic uh, very well defensively in the rushing game 20 rushes for 50 yards in the passing game no completes and 11 attempts so no yards there so you get the net of 50 on 31 uh, quarterback Zach Lewinsky you know, had a number of people drop balls on him he's 0 for 9 also Randall Paxton throwing he was 0 for 2 as a quarterback and Again, they're just not uh, either getting people open or people are dropping the ball or the ball's just not quite getting there. But it's been a tough day passing for the Tunkhannock Tigers. In the running game, we have Carver Lewis with nine carries for 41 yards. He's had some nice bursts up the middle where he gets the chains, like 10-yard burst, but not enough of them. Nine carries in all, 41 yards. Lucas Siprich, uh on the season has been splitting the carries. In fact, he's had more total yardage than Carver Lewis's running mate. Just a freshman in this game, though, mostly as a blocking back and sometime out of the picture altogether when they go with multiple receivers. I have him with two carries for just one yard. But then it comes down to the quarterbacks and the um, people running from that quarterback spot, the Wildcats. Zach Litwinski, the standard quarterback, sacked on one occasion. I have him with two carries for a net of minus two. Andrew Lipinski, who comes in from wide receiver, likes to run the ball in the Wildcat. He has three carries for just one yard. And Randall Paxton also doing some Wildcat. He has four carries for a total of nine. So 20 carries for 50 yards in the ground game. 0 for 11 in the passing game. A net of 50 yards total for the Tunkhannock Tigers here at halftime as Berwick's playing stellar defense. For the Berwick offense, 203 yards on the ground, 90 yards in the air, 293 in all. Passing, Ashton Smith has been quarterbacking. They've been letting him pass out of some standard formations. I have missed three of six. He's been caught in the backfield and sacked a couple of times. 
Uh, he's two for minus 16 rushing, but three of six passing, and he has 90 yards. Billy Hansen has two of the catches for a total of 85 yards. Julian Howie caught the other pass of five yarders. So 90 yards in the airway on three completions for Ashton Smith and no interceptions. In the ground game, well, let's celebrate Chase Shuckers. He's been used as a blocker, a blocking back, and this time as a ball carrier. He has one carry, one yard, that being a touchdown here on his senior night. Ashton Smith, we mentioned, at quarterback, sat twice, minus 16 yards for him, and then go to Ty Wilkerson, maybe the best running back in the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, and I'd pick over and lead my team in running. 12 carries in this first half for 219 yards. Berwick went out of its way to look at other ways and other game plans when he was at uh, 135 in his second touchdown. He'll finish this half with 12 carries for 219 yards. Just a wonderful performance. So, 203 on the ground as a net. 90 in the air for Berwick, 293. And again, comparing it to the 50 where they've held some canic. And you can see Berwick dominating one point away from that mercy rule, Jim. And I think the ideal situation for the Bulldogs, Andy, with the playoffs looming next week would be to get it into the mercy rule. Yeah. Get it in that situation. Take the starters out of there. Feel good about yourselves going wherever you're going next week. Yeah, and especially if you are heading up to Western Wayne, and we learned that they played last night, they're going to have an extra day of rest, so you'd like to be able to rest a lot of your starters. Certainly not risk injury. You always give them a series or two, and it is senior night, and it's the last time these seniors will have played football on this field here, and there's there's deep feelings on that. Well, C.J. Curry's going to have some decisions to make, which way to balance it all, but I'm sure he'll make the right decisions. It's the kind of decisions you want to have oh. face you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 34 nothing. You see Berwick lead here at the break. We'll be back with the second half kickoff. You're listening to Berwick Football and Pop Radio. Are your appliances feeling a little bit outdated? You're looking for the best deals in town? Well, look no further than Flick Brothers Electric, your go-to family-owned appliance paradise. Flick Brothers Electric has all the top-notch name-brand appliances you could ever dream of. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, dishwashers, microwaves, stoves. They even give free estimates on Fujitsu ductless air conditioner heat pump units. Flick Brothers Electric on Maple Lane, keeping Bloomsburg cool, clean, and cooking for over 65 years. Call them at 570-784-3444. When you've been sidelined by an injury, all you want is to get back in the game. Getting to the finish line starts with Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute, the region's leader in sports medicine. We use the most advanced technology for faster, better results, so elite and everyday athletes can compete like champions once again. Call 833-LV-Ortho. Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. Your health deserves a partner. Mason's Monogramming has the largest selection of Bulldog items in Berwick. Family owned with more than 35 years experience. And new Bulldog wear for every age, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, polos, hats, and more. They even make online fundraising easy for you. Stop in today to discuss your next fundraising opportunity. You can also shop at masonsmonogramming.com for their new inventory and select in-person pickup or shipping right to you. Follow their Instagram at Mason's Monogramming for their latest new items. Mason's Monogram Service in Berwick. Let them personalize for you. Family tradition is the foundation of Nespoli Jewelers, a family tradition started by Joseph Nespoli and continued by his grandson, Jonathan. For three generations, Nespoli Jewelers have prided themselves on mixing fine with fashion. Jonathan can customize your engagement ring and wedding bands, design a unique piece of jewelry inspired by you, or simply help you find an affordable gift. Service, quality, creativity. Nespoli Jewelers, yesterday's principles, today's creations. East Front Street in Berwick and online at NespoliJewelers.com. For over 50 years, you've trusted Overhead Door to provide the finest quality residential and commercial garage door products, installation, and service. With winter right around the corner, your garage doors need a tune-up. For only $99 for one or $125 for multiple doors, they'll check, lube, and adjust your garage doors and openers so they operate smoothly. Call for their seasonal tune-up special, Overhead Door of Berwick. They're more than just doors. See their five-star rating on their Google business page or visit ohdberwick.com. 
Fall into savings at Ken Pollock Ford and take advantage of up to $10,000 off select F-150s in stock and up to $1,000 of trade assistance on our Bronco family lineup. With rates falling as low as 1.9% on select models, there's a vehicle for everyone's budget. Ken Pollock Ford is proud to have experts on hand with over 200 years of sales and service experience combined. Service pickup and drop-off, loaner cars, mobile service, we do it all. Only at Ken Pollock Ford, Route 11 Berwick, or online at KenPollockFord.com. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Both teams have made their appearance out on the field. We're a couple minutes away from the kickoff to start the second half with Berwick leading to Uncanic by a score of 34-0. Again, nothing positively sure, but it really looks like Berwick will be at Western Wayne. Western Wayne was the number two seed in District 2, 3A, coming into action this weekend. Number one seed was Scranton. Number three was Wyoming area. Berwick came in as the number seven seed, and as such, you would go to number two, and that would be Wyoming area. And since Andy and I have never been to Lake Ariel, obviously that's what we're rooting for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd like to do Wyoming area. It's a little bit closer, familiar uh, roster, familiar team, easier prep. I think Berwick would like to, you know, redo that game as best they could but we'll travel up to Lake Ariel if we have to and hey, if it had to be Scranton prep the number one we'd have to go there we're always ready and it's always exciting once you get into the playoffs and Berwick hoping to put this one away tonight and come out of here injury free and get ready to take the long trip up north and try to pull off an upset I, I think the one thing that was accomplished in that opening half Andy was the Bulldogs putting on tape the fact that you can't ignore the pass. No. Seelands Grove did. And you look at Ty Wilkerson's rushing numbers last week, 270 yards, that's a great night. But on 28 carries, he averaged less than three yards a carry. So they were really ganging up along the line of scrimmage. I would expect any team to do that. But now, if you have a little bit of a passing threat, and you've got Billy Hansen as a deep threat and some other receivers, you just can't do that. Well, you have the speed at receiver, and if you have it to where everyone creeps up, you're going to beat people deep. Billy Hansen, you saw, beat people deep here in this game. So I think Berwick wanted to make sure that they could show that they're having a passing threat, and they did it a, a lot until finally going back to Ty Wilkerson before the half ended. Ethan Dominic will kick off. Second half is underway. A very, very short kick. Rocco Romeo fields it dives on the ball at the 40-yard line. So Berwick will have good field position for their first possession of the second half. Yeah, I like the way Rocco Romeo played. He's one of the five men up front. He's at the end of the line. They kicked it in his direction, but he had to go back and peel back about 8, 10 yards to catch that in the air. The deeper men were going to have to come up a long way. He wanted to make sure, hey, no onside kick here. I'll get it and fall to the ground with it. First and ten Bulldogs. Moving from our right to our left here in the third quarter. They have it at their own 40. Ashton Smith continues at the quarterback controls. Gordon is in the backfield. He leads the blocking for Ty Wilkerson off the right side. 45 to midfield and to the Tuncanic 45-yard line. It's getting to the point where Ty Wilkerson takes a handoff and doesn't go the distance, you say, whoa, what happened there? <laughs> I like the way they also led with that big lineman in there, Jim. Gives it a good look, Matt Gardner going in motion, kicking out to open up the C-gap on the far side, and then Ty Wilkerson hitting right behind it to get that opening seam. 14 yards on the carry. First and 10, Berwick. At the Tunkanic 46, Wilkerson gets the call, tries the right side. Tunkanic's all over it. He'll be brought down right about the line of scrimmage. Yeah, nothing that time. I think on his pre-snap read, while the play was supposed to go off the left side of the line, he looked at it, felt it was going to be stuffed up over there by the way the defense had aligned. So he planned a bit more of a cutback or taking it more over center, but it didn't open there either. Second and nine, Berwick. Jamison Patton is in the lineup. He is a senior, hasn't played a lot, but it is senior night. He's wide to the right side. As Wilkerson gets the call, 
tries the right side himself and will get just a couple to the 43 yard line third down coming up james thomas meeting him and going for a little bit of a ride give him two yards on that carry tough running third down and seven for berwick billy hansen checks in at the wide receiver position replacing patterson gavin galusha is that berwick offense for this third down and seven first third down call the second half for the bulldogs we'll have a slot to the left gordon lines up on a wing to the right he comes in motion to the left let's see if they run it that way at the wildcat they do and ty wilkerson will come up just a bit short as he's brought down at the tunkanic 38 yard line fourth and short coming for the bulldogs yeah, short is about three yards field position where you're going to go for this rather than punt it away Ball's pretty much in the middle of the field, so they can go in either direction. We are early in the third quarter. Berwick at the Tunkhannock 39-yard line, facing fourth down and three. Bulldogs try to put this game into the mercy rule mode. Skyler Devil is the tight end on the left. Gabe Decker on the right. Eye formation. Wilkerson is the tailback. Fourth down call. He gets the call. Looks for some running room. Not much there. Second, third effort. I don't think so. Jaden Thomas met him again right about the line of scrimmage. And while he fought and twisted away, slowed him down enough for the rest of his teammates to come over. They're going to spot it. And it will be turned over on downs, Jim. Not so, enough. So good job defensively by the Tigers who take over with 9.06 to go in the third. Berwick continuing to lead this one by a score of 34-0. They've had some successful runs up the middle. They've had no success, 0 for 11 in their passing game. Quarterbacks have been relatively on target with some of the passes, but they've suffered some drops. As the people look to the sideline, you know, I ask a bloomsburg husky offensive lineman this week do you resent the term skill positions he said absolutely <laughs> <laughs> a lot of skill in the blocking technique jim from the 38 yard line lipinski Ooh. takes the snap and goes nowhere gavin galusha yeah. who's in there on the offensive unit now makes the play i tell you you look at galusha and what he's going to bring to this program next couple of years. He is just a sophomore. He's pretty good on both sides. He's just a tough nose football player, Jim. I'm sure everyone wishes he had a little bit more size, but at that size, he still can play. Made a number of impact plays defensively in this game. Second down and 10. Tunkanic moving from our left to our right in the third quarter. They have the ball at their own 38 yard line. Andrew Lipinski. Waits the Wildcat, going to keep it himself. Rocco Romeo across that line of scrimmage, makes the play before Lipinski can get going. Loss of three back to the 35. They've been blitzing him with regularity. You know, you're seeing this 4-3 look. And in a lot of cases, you know, where teams use a five-man line, he kind of becomes a fifth lineman if you're always going to be blitzing him and shooting a gap. It's just you're never quite sure where he's going to come from and which gap he's going to shoot. But he's had impact in the course of this game. Third and 13. Tigers at their own 35. Three receivers to the right. Wadlinski's pass is picked off. The return of the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. And it's in for a Berwick touchdown. Ever interception. Snyder. That goes the distance. Everett Snyder with the grab and the run down the far sideline. He's the outside linebacker as people were really pressuring the quarterback. The quarterback just kind of flung it out there in the flat on the far side. Everett Snyder steps in front of a potential receiver, although no one's really in the area. He takes it and he sprints himself down the sideline and into the end zone. And the defense puts Berwick into the mercy rule, Jim. So the extra point attempt coming from Caleb Yost. He's had one blocked, and there was an issue with the snap and the hold. So Berwick's missed on a couple of attempts this one. 
This time everything seems to be in order. The kick is up and the kick is good. Time out in the field. 7.34 to go in the third. Early 41, Tunkhannock nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs football and pop radio. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is proud to be keeping generations of beautiful smiles across Bulldog Nation. Dr. Susan Ermish, Dr. Nathaniel Fluke, and their staff practice general and restorative dentistry, and they're open Monday through Friday. Whether you need a simple cleaning or a complicated procedure, Berwick Dental Arts will see that you have the best smile so you can be your best. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is a proud supporter of Berwick Bulldogs football. Visit their website at berwickdentalarts.com. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Everett Snyder is a junior, 5'11", 215 pounds. He's played some fullback. He's played some linebacker for the Bulldogs this season. And he just got a big thrill with an interception return of a touchdown of 30 yards that has put this game into the mercy rule mode as Berwick extends their lead to 41-0. Kickoff by Logan Robinson, fielded at the 17-yard line. A return by Ransom and great coverage downfield. Billy Hansen makes a big hit in the open field. He's had a number of big hits on these uh, kick return teams, Jim. He comes down hard in his lane, and he loves to zero in on those men and then just flatten them. You know, you have momentum when you're sprinting that 30, 40 yards, and the man just coming at you and just getting up to speed. Second time, he's really flattened the kick return man. Second possession for Tontanic in the second half. First one did not go well. Everett Snyder with the interception return for the touchdown. And the Tigers take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. 6.50 remaining in this third quarter. Andrew Lipinski in Wildcat again. He hands off. Straight ahead. Strong effort out to the 37-yard line. Gavin Galusha made the stop. But a good effort straight ahead by Lucas Siprich, talented ninth grader for this team. Picks up six at yeah. second and four. Yeah, I do like the run. You see a Wildcat quarterback, and you're not always expecting the handoff. Siprich hasn't had as many carries in this game as he normally would have. There he got his opportunity and looked strong. Here's the pistol formation. Again, the handoff. They won't get the first down. Berwick stops it at about the 39-yard line. I believe it was Siprich again, Jim, and boy, they got themselves into a rub grease scrum and you can see the offensive lineman from tongue canic they're just not giving up on this they're pushing berwick's pushing they'll gain a couple more yards on that make it third and short two yards to the 35 third down and two for the tigers as they look for their first down of this third quarter which has five and a half minutes remaining got the message about the penalties when that pileup came you saw all the Bulldogs put their hands up. Like, no, I, I'm nothing dirty here. <laughs> yeah, keep the mouthpieces in and step away. No, no personal fouls. Yeah. Third down and two. Lipinski awaiting the snap has a running back to either side of him. And he's going to keep it himself. He tries to get outside left, and he won't get there. Great pursuit by the Bulldogs. Billy Hansen, that cornerback, could read that sweep coming in his direction. He's at the point of attack, the widest man, and he's going to drop that runner for about a four-yard loss. You know, with Hansen playing more now on defense, because he's not playing as much as the at the quarterback controls, the he and... Caleb May give Berwick a really good pair of corners. Yes, they do. And hitters. <laughs> Shiloh Escobar back anticipating the punt. Josiah Parr doing the punting. He's back at his 20. Gets the kick away. Nice kick. Muffed at the 35, and then covering it is Escobar at the 37-yard line. So Berwick will get it for the second time in this third quarter, leading Tunkanic by a score of 34 to nothing. They'll huddle with C.J. Curry here on the sideline. Then they'll work their way out to the ball. Just about four yards short of midfield. 
I'd be surprised if the uh, Bulldogs do any substituting just yet. Usually you give that uh, first unit a couple series. They've had just one in this second half. And they will trot out, trot out the starters as they put in play at their own 37-yard line. Yeah, straighten me out. I saw the wrong spot of the ball. As Wilkerson is the lone running back. Ashton Smith under center. Toss sweep right side to Wilkerson. Turning the corner and glides close to yeah. a first down. They, they get about a little bit short at the 45-yard line. Glides is the word, Jim. Man's chasing from behind, but no way he's going to catch him. And then a corner eventually comes up, and it's a question of do I drop the shoulder and collide, or just do I want to glide this one out of bounds, and he's able to take it out easily. There's so many different ways you can use him. And that was one that we haven't seen yet. The option in the pitch. Again, he's the low running back. Ashton Smith under center, blocking back to the left. Second down and two. Call goes to Wilkerson. Takes it up the middle, breaks free down the far sideline, 40. Turns the corner, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, and he is in for the touchdown. Ty Wilkerson in for the score. You know, they're not even the design plays. I think that was set to go off to see gap here on the near side. He decides, I like it up the middle better, and then he decides, you know, I'm going to bounce that out to the right even more. So not even using the design blocking scheme, he just makes it happen. I was sure people had angles on him that time, but when he turns on the Jets, those angles just disappear. 55 yards on the touchdown by Ty Wilkerson, his fourth of the night. 307 yards on the game. Extra point attempt coming. Kick by Yost is up, and the kick is good. Timeout on the field. 2.31 to go in the third. Merlick 48, Tuckanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Free checking for you and your business. No strings attached. Sounds perfect, right? First Keystone Community Bank offers free personal and business checking options with free Visa debit card, no monthly fees, no minimum balance, and no monthly qualifying requirements. Checking with no gimmicks, just what you need. They'll be celebrating 160 years of serving their communities with 19 full-service locations and convenient digital banking tools 24-7. First Keystone Community Bank, local banking for the community we all call home. Online at fkc.bank. Equal opportunity lender member FDIC. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. Another outstanding night for Ty Wilkerson. He's over 300 yards rushing. He's got four touchdowns. And Berwick has a 48-0 lead over Tunkanic. We have 231 remaining in the third quarter. Have you ever seen 300 yards rushing twice in the last four games or so? No, his, uh, his bad game was 270. <laughs> how, about, how about that? <laughs> Logan Robinson will kick off for the Bulldogs. And Ransom will field at the 18-yard line, and then he throws it back to a man deeper than he is and doesn't pay off because they'll... Well, they're still Lift on again. their feet, and they're still throwing the ball around, and finally Berwick makes the play at the 33-yard line. So, Tunkanik's not going down without a no, fight. No, we had, they're uh, not. Three different players touch the football on the kick return. Skyler Neville got a hold of the second man. It was a design lateral where he threw it back. Berwick saw that very easily. And Skyler Neville had that man lined up at about the 30-yard line. But then while he's being caught in the scrum, he impromptu flips it over one more, and Julie Howie finishes it off. Yeah, Julian makes the stop. Clock running, 140 to go in the third. High formation. First down call from the 33. Straight ahead carry, Rocco Romeo, who's been all over this field tonight, among the people in on the stop for the Bulldogs as they gain out to about the... 36 pick up a three yeah carver lewis running tough again but as you mentioned rocco romeo all over the field we figured he'd be at the middle linebacker but i've been watching him line up at outside linebacker and even from there he likes to creep up to that line of scrimmage and they have him shooting the gap sort of the designated blitzer out of this linebacking core caleb may leaves the lineup 
from his cornerback position. Braden Schaefer in for him. Second and six. Tunkanic at their 37. Siprich is the fullback. Lewis gets the call, and he is going nowhere. Rocco Romeo blitzing through the C-gap, Jim, and right where the play was coming. Meets the man in the backfield, grabs him by the way, spins him and throws him backward, and they whistle that one dead rather quickly with forward progress. He'll lose three or four yards. Skylar Neverell now comes out of the lineup. Aiden George replaces him at his defensive end. So Bulldogs starting to do some substituting here, still with time left in the third. This may be the last play, or Tunkanik may just let the quarter run out, and they will. Three quarters in the books at Crispin Field on senior night. Burling 48, Tunkanik nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football on Pop Radio. Stop. Don't make your next car payment. Instead, get a new vehicle at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. Because right now, we're offering a 120% of Kelly Blue Book trade value buyback bonus up to $2,500. Just find the vehicle you want from our huge selection of new Buicks and GMCs and get 120% of KBB trade-in value for yours. It's the 120% of KBB buyback bonus event going on now at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. The lowest price guaranteed. This is Mike from M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. Is this the first time you've shopped with us? Let me explain why you should shop at a Carpet One store. We have over 1,300 store buying power. Carpet One stores sell more floor covering than the two big box stores do combined. That means not only do you get the best price, but you get to work with flooring professionals throughout the entire process from estimates to installation. No one will give you more for your flooring dollar than M&M Carpet One in Bloomsburg. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Three quarters in the books here at Crespin Field on senior night. Berwick celebrating with a 48-0 lead over Tunkanic. We start the fourth quarter. Tigers with the football moving from our right to our left. They face a third down and nine. They've yet to complete a pass in this game. They're going to try one here. Latwinski back to throw. Fires beyond the reach of his 10 receiver at the 35. Good coverage out of his linebacker spot from Gavin Galusha. Yep. Taking Carver Lewis, a running back, and following him into the flats. Had nice coverage. Perfectly placed pass. Could have been completed, but Gavin Galusha would have kept it well short of the chains. And Elijah Escobar deep for the... Bulldogs anticipating this punt as the Bulldogs try to pull off a shutout here. They've had one. That was over Nanico a couple weeks ago. Josiah Parr doing the punting. Low snap. Takes it on a bounce and gets the kick away. Nice job by him. The, the ball will roll dead at the 26-yard line. They ended up bumping into the kicker, Jim, but when you struggle with a snap and then you have to step up, you lose some of the protection they normally would give you. So no way you're going to throw a flag there for roughing the punter. That's exactly what they did. Did they really? Yes. Oh, yep. I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. I saw the bump, and I'm just thinking, well, he struggled with the snap. He had to pick it up and run a little. But normally if you run sideways, you lose the protection. He seemed to catch it and take a step or two forward, and they bumped into him. Yeah, he did a good job to get the kick away. Yep, yep. So it will. it's at the 39-yard line. It is not an automatic first down, so it's fourth down to Uncannic. So running into the kicker rather As than a roughing, roughing kicker, yes. so it's yeah. not the automatic, yeah. and it doesn't give him the 15 yards to the chains. Do they try for this running game? It's a long run to get four yards, and they have not completed a pass yet in this game. Go for it. Long developing situation as they explain things to the Tunkana coaching staff. Now what are they doing? Oh, the 39-yard line is where they've placed it. We'll see if the referee has any signal for us, if they're going to still keep marching off. And now, what's that call? 
they may have declined the penalty right. ship yeah, and taken was, the punt. It was a pretty good punt. Yeah, pretty good punt. So Berlick will have the football at their own 35-yard line with 10.39 to go in the game. And the Bulldogs leading at 48-0. Yeah, now we're going to take a timeout, timeout for Tunkanik. This may be the longest mercy rule game ever. Yeah. <laughs> I blame the clock operator. <laughs> Chris Blockus over there to our right. 10.39 to go. Uh, we'll keep it here. Reminder to stay with us after the game. And Ashton Walshaw will bring us updated on those scores. Again, the situation with Berwick, we hope we could give you a definitive answer. It's pretty definitive, let's say that. In all likelihood, Berwick's going to go to Western Wayne next Friday night to take on the second-seeded team, a team that was undefeated until last week. Well, they lost to Mid Valley. Mid Valley, a very good football team. Yeah. Berwick, Berwick saw them. And uh, Western Wayne led that game 10 0. Ended up losing. Well, it's good that Tuncana called the timeout because it's given Berwick a little bit of time to organize on the sideline with uh, some substitutions. Yeah, and they didn't bother with the timeout for Tunkanic. They've kept 11 people around the football out there. Didn't even get them any water. Berwick's complete offensive line has been substituted. Gavin Galusha is in there as the tailback. Galusha gets the call. Big hole off the right side, and Galusha down the sideline, 35-30. Gavin Galusha will go the distance. Galusha, 65 yards for the score. His first carry of the game, Jim. Boy, he deserved to play great defensively. Let him get a touch. He had Aiden George in front of him at fullback. Again, a little different look. You mentioned a fresh offensive line. I believe it was designed to go a little more inside over the right guard. But Gavin Galusha quickly saw an opening in the C-gap. First on through that and then used his speed. Ty Wilkerson like speed down the right sideline for 65 yards. Extra, extra point attempt coming. Coming slowly as alignment needs to get in there to join the team and block for the PAT. And is it still Yo, so we now have another kicker in there. Snap, placement. Kick is Yost. up, and the kick is good. Caleb Yost kicks it through. 10-20 to go. Berwick 55, Tunkanic nothing. You're listening to Bulldogs Football and Pop Radio. Family tradition is the foundation of Nespoli Jewelers, a family tradition started by Joseph Nespoli and continued by his grandson, Jonathan. For three generations, Nespoli Jewelers have prided themselves on mixing fine with fashion. Jonathan can customize your engagement ring and wedding bands, design a unique piece of jewelry inspired by you, or simply help you find an affordable gift. Service, quality, creativity. Nespoli Jewelers, yesterday's principles, today's creations. East Front Street in Berwick and online at NespoliJewelers.com. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. 10-20 to go in this one. Berwick's latest score, 65-yard run by sophomore Gavin Galusha. And boy, you have to love the future of Berwick's running game. Ooh. With Ty Wilkerson, who ended up with what, Andy? We don't expect to see him anymore. I have 307 yards. I don't know on how many carries. But he won't beat Gavin Galusha's average of 65 <laughs> yards a carry. <laughs> Way to have two underclassmen like that returning. I mean, you give Ty Wilkerson a break, and it's no break for the opposition. So Galusha takes it the distance. Now Logan Robinson will kick it off. Nice kick to the far side. Ransom goes down on a knee, but somehow keeps the football and gets over the 30 to about the 36 yard line that's where Tunkanik will put it in play as we have a stoppage was a timeout call referee slowly gonna tell us Tunkanik yep. 9.56 to go 55 nothing Bulldogs you're listening to Berwick Football on Pop Radio. 
Are you on the market for a new set of wheels? Once you find it, whether it's a functional grocery getter or a midlife crisis hot rod, the tag and title experts at Berwick Notary in Berwick are open six days a week, so you can be rest assured you'll be on the road and illegal in no time. Berwick Notary can transfer a title, register an ATV, or any kind of vehicle. And they're the only notary in Columbia County that registers boats. Berwick Notary has been serving the Bulldog community for over 40 years, and they proudly support the Berwick Bulldogs. Check out their Facebook page and go dogs. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Just wonder, Andy, are officials instructed that when a timeout is called to go as slowly as you can to indicate <laughs> whose timeout is? Do they realize we have commercials to run? And, <laughs> and, and they're not paid by the hour either. They just get a check for the game. That's been a little slow. Yes, it has. I think the teams want to make sure that they're getting their substitutes right, so we're seeing more timeouts than we would expect. So Berwick with a completely new defensive unit in there as Tunkenick tries to get on the board. The handoff goes nowhere as they continue to play tough against the run. Running their freshman, Lucas Siprich. Unable to get anywhere, though, Jim, so it doesn't matter what personnel is in there. Defense is stymieing. Minus two yards on that. Back to the 34-yard line, second down and 12. I think Randall Paxton has been the latest quarterback to see the action. Again, if just joining us, Tunkhannock used all three quarterbacks of theirs first half of the first quarter of this game. High formation. They're still not on the board. Carry off the right side. Nothing doing. A loss of a couple more back to the 31-yard line. They've moved Siprich from fullback and put him as the tailback to work the freshman a little bit more. But Berwick's reading things very, very well. Mike Perry coming in hard from the defensive outside. Knocking him for a loss. Perry could be a significant contributor next season. He has seen some action on the offensive line. Now on the defensive side. Third and 14. Tunkanik at their 32-yard line. Slot to the left. High formation. Toss sweep left side. Running play that will gain out to about the 40-yard line. And there are 10 Bulldogs <laughs> on that tackle. I mean 10. And, and about eight Duncanic players pushing the other way. So you got a genuine rugby scrum. I mean, coaches talk about getting hats to the football. There were 10 of them. <laughs> and shame on the one that didn't get there. <laughs> As it's fourth down Tunkanic at their own 40. Siprich, though, at the tailback. The freshman for Tunkanic ran very hard and got a good seven yards there. Fourth and six. Looks like they're going to go for it at their own 40. Paxton is the quarterback. He'll be under center. Siprich, the lone running back. Fourth down call. Toss sweep right side. Lucas Siprich looking for running room. Strong effort by him. Gets the first down out to the 49. I like the way he runs, Jim. He runs with attitude. It's kind of a vanilla play. Pitch to the right, hit to the outside. See if you like it in the C gap or out a little bit wider. He felt he can get himself north and south and get to the chains, and he did. Franklin Diaz checks in defensively for Berwick. As Tut Kennick has a first down at their 49-yard line. 6.54 remaining. As Tunk Clan players look to the sideline. Again, we mentioned before the game, Pat Keating in 10 years as the head coach at Wyoming Valley West had Berwick's number. 7-3 and three were his teams against the Bulldogs. But not tonight. It's the handoff and a gain of just a couple to the Berwick 48-yard line. Landon Bolkavich, number 31, is in there at fullback. Jim, he's the up back who took that one. Just his fourth carry of the year. Look at about three. Demarcus McMillan, big ninth grader, 6'4", 285 in that defensive front for Berwick right now. Second down, Tigers at the Berwick 48-yard line. Randall Paxton 
is the quarterback. I formation. Siprich the running back, man in motion to the left. Toss sweep, left side. Lucas Siprich, good effort by him, but again, Bulldogs with some gang tackling, hold him to three to the Berwick 45 yard line. Yeah, I like the way he runs. And I can see why he has the numbers on the season. He's probably finished out a lot of games for this team and has pumped up some yardage at third and fourth quarter action. Runs tough. Will, in all probability, be Berwick at Western Wayne next week to start the district playoffs. That will be the first meeting ever between the two schools as Tunkanik using a lot of play clock as we go under five minutes remaining. Do you know the Western Wayne mascot? Wildcats. The Wildcats. You got it, buddy. From the 45. They have a running back that Berwick's going to have to deal with as Paxton takes the direct snap, looks for the first down, and will not get it. Berwick very aggressive with these backup. Yes, defenders. they are. Yes, they are. I like that aggressiveness from a defensive unit when they get the opportunity. Don't see that many varsity snaps, and here they're getting the opportunities in this fourth quarter, and they're making the most of it defensively. One of Western Wayne's most impressive wins on the season over Wyoming area. And uh, talked to Randy Spencer, the Wyoming area coach, prior to their meeting with Berwick, and he said they're they're the real deal. They're very very good. It's a top heavy tournament. Those top three teams, Scranton Prep has only one loss, and that was a, to a team out of state. And then Western Wayne with one loss, Wyoming area with one loss. Fourth down play, flag down on the play. Offside against Berwick. Did it see the movement? Sometimes wonder if the officials should see such movement. <laughs> Let them play RJ, as we're under four minutes. R.J. Haas hasn't stopped coaching. No. His hat went to the turf with that play. He thought he had the, the correct alignment defensively, and perhaps they did. But the penalty will give Tonkanik a first down to Berwick 39 with 3.35 to go in the game. R.J. Haas wearing shorts. <laughs> as is his head coach, C.J. Curry. Tough guys. Rolling right is Paxton. Fires it up for grabs. And it is caught inside the 10 and down to the 6-yard line. Berwick was all over the play. Two defenders were on the excited receiver. Jaden Newell, number 10, is in there, Jim. He went up high between the defenders, came down with the football. Berwick stayed there to tackle him. Now this defense is going to try to preserve the shutout with under three minutes to go. I have Car Carter O'Neill as the number five. Number 10. Oh, okay, number 10. 10. Yeah. Yep. Jaden Newell is a ninth grader. And I'll tell you what, this point of the game, 55 nothing, 240 to go to see the joy in, yep. in him as he caught that pass. It's really great to see. From the 10-yard line. Toss sweep right side looking for the end zone and is it yes. a touchdown yes the touchdown is Siprich. by lucas siprich jim they've been using the, the freshman throughout this series this time a pitch just to the right side sweeping type of action he was able to get wide and then dance the sideline down the official was late on the call because he was the lineman up on the four-yard line. Had to get down to the pylon until he could raise his arms and touch down. They'll probably go for two because their place kicker, who's pretty good, is not here tonight. He's involved in the in a, a district soccer playoffs. In fact, he had a field goal in their last game. It'll take it a lot of time. Guys, you got to make a decision. No 25 second clock moving. Now it's just started, so no chance of the penalty. Paxton. Well, wait the snap. They're going for two. Low snap. Ball is fumbled. Berwick. The point attempt will fail. 227 remaining. Time out in the field. 55 6 Bulldogs. You're listening to Berwick Football on Pop Radio. When you've been sidelined by an injury, all you want is to get back in the game. 
Getting to the finish line starts with Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute, the region's leader in sports medicine. We use the most advanced technology for faster, better results, so elite and everyday athletes can compete like champions once again. Call 833-LV-ORTHO. Lehigh Valley Orthopedic Institute. Your health deserves a partner. W234BH West Hazelton at 94.7. WBWX W242CY Berwick at 96.3. W282CO Bloomsburg at 104.3. And W288CF Danville at 105.5. Your home for Berwick Bulldogs football is Pop Radio. A Southern Mountains Media Station. Todd Kanick avoids the shutout. Lucas Siprich, a talented ninth grader with a five-yard touchdown run. Biggest play on that uh, scoring drive, a 34-yard pass completion to Jaden Newell, fellow ninth grader. And it's 55-6, Berwick, 227 remaining in this one. So the kickoff coming. Berwick playing it straight, not anticipating an onside kick. Duncanic only had 10 men. Guy came out a little late. Now they're ready for play signal. As the kick skitters along the turf, goes through two Bulldogs, but a third is able to fall on it at the 32-yard line. So Bulldogs just a couple of snaps away from making this official. They'll get their fourth win of the season. They'll head into the district playoffs next Friday. Again, in all likelihood at Western Wayne. And the number two seed, again, 7 o'clock kickoff. Hope you'll join us for the broadcast. It'll start as usual at 6 with the C.J. Curry Show as we go under two minutes remaining in the game. Fast moving second half for the most part because of the mercy rule. Ashton Smith will remain in there to take snaps. He's got an eye formation behind him. Connor Roberts, Brock Sims are the running back. It's like Roberts in the... right side the offensive play calls will pretty much be vanilla in between the tackle for the rest of this as we're under a minute and now they're going to go to the victory formation so the Bulldogs won't look to break anything else 50 seconds to go as Smith will look at the play clock use as much as he can don't end Players will head to the center of the field to exchange handshakes. This one is over. Berwick 55 at Tunt. When you're shopping for insurance, you might say, What? Huh? so over this. But what you really need to say is something that could actually help. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. When you get a local State Farm agent, they can help make it easy and help you choose the coverage you need. Plus, they're available online, over the phone, or even in person. I'm so into this. Visit your Bloomsburg State Farm agent, Sean Black, at insurebloomsburg.com. For over 50 years, you've trusted Overhead Door to provide the finest quality residential and commercial garage door products, installation, and service. With winter right around the corner, your garage doors need a tune-up. For only $99 for one or $125 for multiple doors, they'll check, lube, and adjust your garage doors and openers so they operate smoothly. Call for their seasonal tune-up special, Overhead Door of Berwick. They're more than just doors. See their five-star rating on their Google business page or visit ohdberwick.com.
Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is proud to be keeping generations of beautiful smiles across Bulldog Nation. Dr. Susan Ermish, Dr. Nathaniel Fluke, and their staff practice general and restorative dentistry, and they're open Monday through Friday. Whether you need a simple cleaning or a complicated procedure, Berwick Dental Arts will see that you have the best smile so you can be your best. Berwick Dental Arts, 9th Street in Berwick, is a proud supporter of Berwick Bulldogs football. Visit their website at berwickdentalarts.com. Stop! Don't make your next car payment. Instead, get a new vehicle at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. Because right now, we're offering a 120% of Kelly Blue Book trade value buyback bonus, up to $2,500. Just find the vehicle you want from our huge selection of new Buicks and GMCs, and get 120% of KBB trade-in value for yours. It's the 120% of KBB buyback bonus event going on now at Alexander Family Buick GMC in Bloomsburg. The lowest price guaranteed. This is Berwick football coach C.J. Curry. You're listening to Bulldogs football on Pop Radio. Bulldogs close out on senior night with a flourish, a 55-6 domination of Tunkanic. Bulldogs scored in their first possession. Six plays, 65 yards. Ty Wilkerson had runs of 32 and 24, and the first of his four touchdown runs from one yard out. Caleb Yost with the extra points. 7.02 to go in the first. 7-0 Berwick. Just a couple of plays into Berwick's next possession. A 67-yard touchdown run by Ty Wilkerson. Extra point attempt failed, but Berwick led 13 to nothing. Later in the first, Berwick took advantage of a bad snap from punt formation for Tunkanic. Bulldogs took over at the one-yard line, and they gave one of their seven seniors playing his final game at Crispin Field. A thrill as Chase Shuckers, an offensive tackle, moved to running back, gets it in for the score. Caleb Yost with the extra point. 21-0 Berwick after one. In the second quarter, Bulldogs defense, which was outstanding on the night, stopped Tunkanic on a fourth and two in Berwick territory. One play later, Ashton Smith getting the start at quarterback in this one, hit a wide open Billy Hansen, 61 yards with the score. Caleb Yost with the extra point. 8.58 to go in the half. Berwick led 28 to nothing. And then it was Ty Wilkerson one more time in that opening half. With 106 to go, an 86-yard run. An issue with the snap. Berwick didn't get the extra point, but led at the break 34-0. They put it in the mercy rule with their defense. 7.34 to go in the third. Everett Snyder stepped in front of a Tunkanic pass and raced 30 yards for the score. Caleb Yost with the extra point. 41-0 41-0 Berwick. And then the finale of the night for Ty Wilkerson. 2.31 to go in the third. A 55-yard touchdown run. Caleb Yost with the extra point. Berwick led 48-0 after three. In the fourth quarter, with Wilkerson done for the night, sophomore Gavin Galusha gets the ball and races 65 yards off the right side for the score. Caleb Yost with the extra point. 55 55- Berwick and the Bulldogs with their subs in defensively. Tunkanic got a scoreboard, a five-yard run by Lucas Siprich, set up by a 34-yard pass completion to Jaden Newell. Both of those are ninth graders. Bad snap on the extra point attempt. The final score, Berwick 55 and Tunkanic 6. That's the final from here. For other scores, let's go to Ashland Walshaw. Um, thanks, Jim. As mentioned earlier, Western Rain defeated Dunmore 42-7 to last night. Um, Central Columbia currently leads Bloomsburg 20-18 to in the third. Crestwood leads Wyoming Valley West 47-7 to in the fourth. Dallas defeated Lake Lehman 28-7. to Danville defeated Sealance Grove 49-7. to Hanover Area defeated Nanticoke 16-7. to Abington Heights defeated Hazleton area 27 to 0. Lackawanna currently leads Riverside 42 to 20 in the fourth. Lewisburg currently leads Mifflinburg 42 to 21 in the third. Loyal Sock defeated Montoursville 21 to 7. Mid Valley currently leads Lakeland 34 to 7 in the third. Warrior Run currently leads Milton 13 to 12 in the fourth. Shimokin leads Mount Carmel, 21-0 in the fourth. North Schuylkill leads Pottsville, 33-0 in the fourth. Wyoming area leads Pittston area. 
28-0 in the fourth. Southern Columbia defeated Chickalimi, 53-6. Wilkes-Barre area leads Williamsport, 14-13 in the third. Carbondale, Carbondale leads Old Forge, 24-7 in the fourth. Now let's go back one more time to Crispin Field with Jim Doyle and Andy Uligny. Thank you, Ashlyn. On the scoreboard, Berwick 55, Tonkanic 6, and now on the stat sheet, Andy Uligny. 451 yards in total offense for Berwick, and they held Tunkanic to 105. Let's start with Tunkanic. Was not their night in the passing game. Quarterbacks combined for one for 14. One interception, it was returned for a touchdown and 34 yards in the passing game. That passing game was to Jaden Newell, a young freshman, a 34-yard reception, setting up their sole touchdown of the game. So... Not much in the passing game, but a celebration by Jaden Newell as he sets up their score to break the schneid. In the running game, 71 yards on 35 carries. Carver Lewis, 10 carries for 44. Lucas Siprich, a promising young freshman, toward the end of the game had a lot of carries. Give him 11 for 20. Uh, looking at Landon Balkevich, the fullback, he had one tote for three. And then the quarterbacks, uh, Randall Paxton, 5 for 10 yards. Andrew Lipinski, 6 for minus 4. Zach Latwinski, 2 for minus 2. A net of 71 yards rushing, 34 in the airways, 105 for Chunkanic. A good, strong effort by the Berwick defense. We mentioned Berwick, 451 yards, 361 on the ground, and 90 in the air. The air all coming in the first half. Uh, Ashton Smith was three of six for the 90 yard. Billy Hansen with two catches, a 61 yard touchdown and a 24 yarder. So two for 85 yards. Julian Howie caught the other a five yard pass there. Uh, Ashton Smith caught in the backfield a couple times, sacked twice. So two carries for him for minus 16. Brock Sims had a four yard carry at the end of the game. Jay Shucker celebrate his touchdown, the big lineman, a one-yard plunge on a play that followed what we thought was a safety, but somehow they brought it out to the one-yard line, and Jay Shucker's taking it on in for one yard, a thrill for the big lineman. Gavin Galusha had one carry, 65 yards. And then you go to Ty Wilkerson, and again, what a show we're seeing out of him. 19 carries, 307 yards. You say numbers like that, and it reverberates throughout the area, and it's just becoming rather routine. You know, if you just kept feeding him the ball, you can have four or 500 yards if you just kept letting him go. Average is 16.1 yards a carry here in this game. 300 yards is 307 yards is the total by my count. Add them all up. 361 net yards for Berwick in the ground, 90 in the air. 451 yards in total offense in this one, Jim. I think C.J. Curry got everything he wanted from tonight. Obviously Ooh. an easy victory. Uh, you get the passing game going, get it into the playoffs. First passes completed in the last three weeks or so. And I didn't see any injury. So a perfect situation to end the season, the regular season. And a thriller, a thriller. Seniors with their last game here on this football field, Jim, always a little bit sad to see that. But, boy, the future does look promising. And, hey, there's still playoffs next week. Yeah, the immediate future is those district playoffs. For Tunkhannock, they fall to 3-7 and seven on the season. They will be at the number one seed, Scranton Prep, next Friday. For Berwick, they improved to 